well, there is obviously so much to discuss, uh, Ricky. I wonder, it, in an effort just to provoke some uh, initial thoughts, uh, if I can offer another quote from the great Carl Sagan, oh. who said, um, Advances in medicine and agriculture have saved vastly more lives than have been lost in all the wars in history. Mm. So quite a... Uh, yeah, it just shows you shouldn't really worry about war. What do you mean? Isn't Not it? a big problem, is it? Obviously. So that's a good point there, Carl. <laughs> no, war, war's not as bad yeah, not as sure. a lot of people make out. Not what do sure. you think, Carl? Overrated? What, uh, too much fuss about all? Oh. Well, I I don't know anyone who's died in a war, but I know loads of people who have died from you know cancer and what have you. So is that is that going on Carl's quote? Does that work? Is he right? What did he say? <laughs> <laughs> good. Well, we're off to a fascinating start but I, re I always remember this story when I was a kid about um, some bloke who a uh, bit, bit sad the story but weird he had um, throat cancer right and his doctor said uh, carry on with your life right it's not going to be that good but just carry on um, but don't eat meat and he was like oh, I love meat he's like yeah but just don't you know have your veg uh, you know plenty of vitamins and stuff keep yourself strong but don't be eating that anyway he was he was fed up because he loved his meat um and his his wife was feeling a bit sorry for him one day and thought you know i'm sick of him looking fed up and that all he wants is some meat for god's sake give him some meat so she goes to the butchers gets him a big piece of like steak and what have you he can't believe it he's like oh brilliant cheers for that anyway um <laughs> he's got the meat on his plate just about to tuck in and the cancer comes out from his throat. <laughs> what? No, he's some. I know he sounds really weird, but he's something that, that I was told about years ago when I was growing up. What are you talking about? It was just some some bad illness, some cancer thing, and it sort of it was it was coming out, waiting for the meat. It was it was, <laughs> it was sort of dying again. It, I get a lot of your medical uh, knowledge is from is uh, from the film Alien. So this guy with throat cancer. Okay, yeah. as opposed to it being a disease of the cell. It was like a living... The alien. It oh, was alien. so it was a, it was a, uh, it was the animal. It was the little animal cancer. That's why what he wasn't allowed to eat about? meat. He wasn't allowed to eat meat. So it's of... sitting there, so it's actually sitting there in the throat. Why, I'll tell you what I'd have done if I'd have had some cancer in my throat. I'd go, <coughs> there you go, rid of that. What are you talking about? So what happened? Uh, he choked to death on this thing and the wife was like, oh, I shouldn't give him the meat after all. Just That's listen a symbolic to you, story. Listen to you, it's, it's all, there's loads of weird stuff like that there that is. happens in medical stuff. Well, the terrible thing is, you, if you if you got testicular cancer and you eat meat, your bollocks come out of your trousers and they're they're all over the plate, yeah. and you have to be asked to leave the restaurant. Oh, chimpanzee, that monkey news. Right <laughs> now, before I went again, and again, go on. Oh, chimpanzee, that monkey news. Brilliant. Right. right. Um. Right, before I went away, I told you about Alfred. Um, he was the, he was the monkey where there was a, a robbery going on in a bank. <laughs> yeah, and then he nicked the robber's loot and backed out yeah. with a gun. Yeah, he sort of stole, he, he robbed the robber, didn't he? Yeah. Did he take his gun as well? He Did took he the weapons, he took all the weapons, there was like a couple of robbers. He managed, because they were so amazed that a monkey was coming in, it was like- Don't what? talk shite twice. Right. Anyway. So anyway. Got a follow-up to that. Okay. Now, what was that, that monkey's name? Um, Alfred. That was Alfred. Um, so anyway, um, because a lot of people wanted to know, well, you know, what did he do? Did he go off and have a holiday? Did he no, no, no. So, um, so the follow-up is, what happened is, the monkey had the guns, had the cash, which was $250,000. Sure. Right? It went back to the zoo, right? Uh, you, uh, right, Carl, you're talking shit. Ricky, oh. I get angry with you when you won't let oh. him finish his monkey news. Right. Can't we just get out of the official Imagine thing? if people were interrupting Trevor McDonald. I don't, it wouldn't happen. I don't want to make sure I don't get anything wrong. No, of course not. Um, no, so, so yeah. check the internet. So, uh, the monkey goes back to the zoo, right, where all the zookeepers come out and go, get him, he's, he's got the guns. Yeah. He hands out a couple of guns to his mates. What? Right. His monkey mates? His monkey mates, so they've all got a couple of guns each. Oh, Carl, uh, Steve, I can't, mate. I can't <laughs> Just stand that, it. Honestly, I want to f scream. Please, I really get annoyed with you. They tried to 
do him a, do him a deal. They said, how about if- uh, I'm going, tell him that. I'm right. not going. No, step I can't. Step out for a minute. Okay, we'll just do it. Look, just don't just listen, step out and I'll paraphrase what, what I hear for you when you come back in. Step out. No, please, I need to hear- I need to hear the end of this. Now, this yeah. is monkey news. This is important stuff. Right. Right, Ricky now has left the room. He cannot- he cannot bear to hear, which is surprising to me. Right, so anyway, um, so yeah, they've got the money and mm. they say to the zookeepers, how about, uh, we give you some cash? Yes. And they go- oh. Sorry, th well, hang on, sorry, the zookeeper said that to the monkeys? Yeah. Right. No, 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 the monkeys who have got the two hundred and fifty thousand pounds- Right. Say to the zookeepers, we'll sort you some money out if you let us go. So right. the monkeys say to the zookeepers, we'll give you some money? Yeah. You don't see any problem with that? Right, listen. Okay. Let, it's nearly finished. Right, I'm listening out there. You could, this is ridiculous. You go! What do you mean the monkeys say? What do you mean the monkeys say to the zookeeper? They're probably holding the money out, like, kind of going, look, you know, we'll do your deal. Right, okay, come on. Um, and what happened is, I think, uh, I think that, I think they were happy with that. I think they left and that was that. They, they, they wanted to get out of the zoo because they didn't like it in there. There's the thing. Right, I, I don't, uh, just have a look. Right, Carl, think. Right, how did they get out in the first place, this one? Just let Steve have a- So why did he go- so he went and robbed, he thought- uh, what, he knew there was gonna be a robbery that day, did he? He might have been getting some money before they went to escape and then that happened and they had more money. They might have been withdrawing some stuff out. What do you mean? If no- If he was planning on leaving the zoo, he's gonna get his savings. What are you talking about? Um, I've got another fact for you, Carl. It might be of interest to you, this is the final one. The ancient Babylonians had a few- and just stop you there. What's a Babylonian? <laughs> My head's gonna burst. What do you mean, what's a Babylonian? I've never heard of one. No, but we'll think. Work out. What's an Evertonian? Someone who supports Everton. Well, or from? From Liverpool. Yeah, so what's a Babylonian? He's from Baba. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, anyway, some people from Baba, ancient Baba. They didn't have any very, very many doctors in those days, all right? Because they felt that illness, illnesses should be left to the wisdom of the public, right? So if you were sick, okay, you were, pl you were placed in the city centre, right? And then a passerby- Outside Baba. Outside Baba. And uh, a passerby who had suffered from the same ailment or who had seen it treated in the past, they would pass by, they would give them advice on how to be cured. Do you understand? So there'd be no doctors, just people passing by would see, they'd say, what's wrong with you? And they'd say, well, blah, 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 I've had the same thing, here's some advice. And pedestrians were forbidden to pass such an individual without inquiring about the complaint and prescribing for it if they knew how to. So hang on, so there's someone ill. Yeah. It's outside the town hall. Yeah. Uh, people walk past, go, what's up with you? They yeah. go, oh, my foot hurts. And they go, oh, you've got to do this to get rid of yeah. that. Yeah. And were they ever right? Well, what do you mean? Were they ever right? Well, uh, how do we know? <laughs> what are you telling me? What? What have you just told me? What am I meant to take from that? You just said strangers sort of say, you've got that wrong with you. you I think he's sulking. I don't think he's ever going to take anything we tell him again because we don't, no, but I don't like the fact that goes, well, uh, um, uh, I, uh, it, um, uh, monkey, monkeys can do armed robberies and we go, no they can't. I don't understand what the problem is. But how is what? that different from telling me that a Chinese woman ate dirt? Because How is that's, that not the same sort of thing? Because that's weird. Someone sat in Trafalgar Square going, I've got a headache and I go take some Neurofen, isn't, isn't shocking. I'm not a doctor, I've given a bit of advice. But neither is the dirt lady, she's not particularly interesting, neither of them are particularly interesting. I'm just trying to give you an example of the same sort of drivel you feed us every week. Would you uh, sort of have tea round at her house? It's weird. The Chinese woman. Right, so it's weird. Okay, now we're getting somewhere. It's weirdness that you're interested in. See, I thought that you were actually interested in sort of le uh, interesting well, sort of stuff. But if it's weird, it helps. Um, no, it's not no. his vault. Let me have it's not his vault. You've got to save this. This has got to teach me something. It'll be an interesting story. Right, it's not his vault. This fella. Yeah. Um, what year? Ages old, old ago? times? In, I'd say in the 70s. Okay. Would you? <laughs> Any evidence for that? And, uh, Does he wear flares in the uh, <laughs> in the story? Right. Is that it's your reason? A, no, it's it's a bit like Yori Geller, this fella, right? Where oh, yeah. he's electric. He's electric. And um, <sighs> if he walks past the telly, the telly would fizz. Uh huh. If he walks past the radio, it all goes like that. Ooh. His hair stuck up all the time, Ugh. and he'd be having a bath, and everything would be all right, and then the power would sort of switch on in his body, 
and the electric in his body made him jump out of the bath. <laughs> so. <laughs> what do you mean, so? What is that so- what does that so mean? You've given us nothing. You've given us nothing. You'd have to at least give us the scientific explanation. Yeah. Electric eels have 400 volts in them. Oh, is this the running away again? <laughs> what was that one called? Yeah, but they- they-, they but it's there's- not, a, It's not his vault. But there's a reason <laughs> they- they- that- that- Not his vault! It's not his vault! I thought it was gonna be something about I keeping think it in we should, safe. I think we should do these the other way around. <laughs> I think you should tell vault. us the story and then we'll hear the pun. <laughs> It's not his fault. It's not his fault. Right, let's leave it. Play a tune. <laughs> Educating Ricky. Uh, We're not doing it. No, we are. What would you do, right? If you run a business, right, your business could go under, right? It snows a bit. You got ten employees. You're paying them well, and they go, I can't come in today, Carl. A bit icy. I'll do. I'll do it. Okay. Right. They're snowed in. Right. You're running the business. What are you running? It's a, uh, let's not, don't, you know, I'm not going to big myself up, it's just a, no, it's a factory, it, it, it's, it's a U-Bens, I make, you, no, U-Bens, yeah. U-Bens for, you know, Toilet, so yeah. you run a, okay, right, okay, so, from you, 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 you pay them all right, don't you? I'd say most of them are on above average. So you're there, what time do you get in? Um, about quarter to nine. Quarter to nine, waiting for them to come in at nine, yeah? Yeah. Okay, right, it's snowing, it's a bit snow, snowy, you got there, it took you a bit while, you'd set off early, did you, or? Gave myself a bit more time because I had to put the heating on the car. Okay. Ring, 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 ring. Hello, uh, uh, KP Plumbing. Oh, oh, uh, is that is that Miss Pilkerton? Yeah, it is. Yeah, who's that? Oh, uh, it's uh, it's Sheila. Um, listen. Sheila, shouldn't you be here by now? <laughs> yeah, no. Um, I was going to set off. Well, don't, but... we'll set off now. Stop wasting time. We've got a big order on. No, I know. We're all but... on a bonus here if we get this done. I'll see you in uh, ten minutes, shall I? I can't make it. What? I can't make it. Why not? The car won't start and it's slippy on the drive. I just can't get out. Get the transport. I'll see you in. I'll give you 20 minutes, all right? Don't no, worry about it. Well, Thanks for calling. I I'll see you in I'm also scared of the ice. I'm scared of the ice. I'm, gonna, I'm, I'm not going to. Uh, I'm not going to come in today. It's dangerous. So what are you going to do? Well, I'm just going to wait until the ice and snow goes away and then but I'm going to come but in. But they're predicting it's going to be about two weeks before yeah, they clear this. Yeah, I can't really travel in this. It's oh, a bit dangerous. Well, I'll tell you what. You stay at home. I'll uh, I'll replace you. Because I need someone to come in. What well, are you firing me? Because I can't get into work with this. This. Well, I, I got think... into work, Sheila. Yeah, I know, but I mean, you don't live with me, do you? If you did live with me, then no, you'd probably it was see bad. how. It was bad where I was as well. Yeah, I'm here. Do you know how bad it is here? When you come round and have a look how bad I'm, it is here, no, you drive I'm my. Not I'll tell you what, you come round and drive my fucking car because I'm snowed in. You fucking calling me a cunt, and I'll tell you if you fire me, I'll tell you to drive you, you bald headed wanker. Right, you're fired anyway for for that. You're in fucking trouble then. Mm. Right then, see ya. Right, and right. she's she's done with. She's weak anyway. Ring, 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 ring. KP plumbing. Oh yeah, uh, is that uh, Miss Pilkington? Yeah, it is. Yeah. Hi, it's Bobby. Right, um, Bob. Yeah, um, bit of trouble. Um, uh, in my area, it's absolutely snowing. It's possible no one's getting out. I live near Sheila. Bob, by the listen. Way. Yeah, well, yeah. Sheila's just been on. She's saying she All can't right. get in either. She can't. I've just seen her out there trying to dig her car out, and she's at uh, about. She's really, really tried hard to get to work, but she can't do it because she's she's not very rich. And her car doesn't work. She hasn't got the right tyres, and there's no public transport. They've cancelled those. Wrong snow on uh, this country. I'm not going to make it in today, son. So um, I'll see you tomorrow, right, boy. Well, no, you're saying you'll see me mm. tomorrow. Yeah. But but you'll probably call up tomorrow with the same thing. Well, only now, if it's snowing still. No, listen, it might not have well, I can't, I can't run a business like this, Bob. Yeah, it's not my fault, is it, really? So go round to Sheila's and, and like, slag me off if you want. But I tell you I'm what, not you're not coming Just... back here. Oh. Fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> one chance. Give them one chance. Oh. Well, you didn't even give them one chance. No, because they'd done it before. <laughs> Just annoys me. <sighs> so what I've done, <laughs> this little book of quotes, uh, happiness quotes, I've um, I've picked two that are real. Okay. And I've made one up. All right. <laughs> and we've got a guess. And you've got a guess. Okay then. Go on. Well, I'll tell you what, Rick. Why don't we, when we've heard them, we won't confer. No. You'll write down yours, yeah. A, B, or C, and yeah. I'll write down mine, and we'll sure. see how. Okay, it is. Carl, off you go. Right, and just because I'm l I'm looking at this book, it doesn't mean I'm actually reading. No, I know. Don't no, worry, no. We're, we're clever. No, we're no, we know, we know, we can't see. Yeah, like yeah. call my bluff. Yeah, okay. go on in. Nothing is worth more than this day. Okay. Yeah. No. Yeah. All right. Yeah. The way I see it. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, 
Oh God, my head's gonna burst. No, hang on. My head's gonna burst. No, hang, hang no, on. this might not be Carl's. Oh, it might not be. How do you know I haven't tweaked them a little bit? Yeah, good okay, point. Good enough. point. No, good point. The way I see it, if you want the rainbow, you got to put with the rain. Yeah. Okay. okay. All right. All right. Yeah. Okay. Hang on. Yeah. Come on. Cat food. <laughs> Cat food, go on. It stinks a bit, but if you don't put up with the smell, the little kitten will die. <laughs> Steve, Steve, I don't know what to say. <laughs> I don't know what to say. Imagine this in fake. Imagine their faces when he says that, and they're going, "Oh my god!" Oh. Carl, play a song, mate. <laughs> oh. We'll have to confer on this one. <laughs> <laughs> I've been trying to take in too much information now. That's that's the problem recently. Well, I said to you last week, I've been like reading more books and what have you, and trying to take in too much. But the problem is, like even even watching telly and that now. Suzanne said to me, you know, stop doing that. Stop watching telly late at night and going to bed, because it's it's making your brain too active. <laughs> and I'm sort of heaven forbid. And I, you know, I'm trying to get to sleep and I can't. And then when I wake up, I'm th she, she had a go at me the other day, right? Because it was a night after watching the fat baby, right? Woke up in the morning and uh, she had a go at me because as soon as I woke up, I said um, something like, How can you freeze time? <laughs> <laughs> and she says, Aren't you going to say good morning or whatever? <laughs> I'm going to burst! Just imagine it, right? It's, a, it's that the sun comes out through the window. Oh, she's like, right. Carl's like that, his little head. His eyes open, he goes, one of those floppy night hats. <laughs> How can you freeze time? Oh, God. I feel like this. Peter the Great, you ever heard of Peter the Great? No. Okay, well anyway, Peter the Great had his wife's lover oh, executed. you'll love this, Carl. Right, so he, his wife had a lover, he had him executed, and he put his head into a jar of alcohol, and his wife had to keep it in her bedroom. Do you understand? That's every time she saw, every morning she'd wake up and there was her lover's head who, in a jar. Who took his head off? He took, he took his own head off. <laughs> oh, for Christ's sake! Play a record! Play a record! <laughs> she had a lover and, oh, never Forget mind. It. Never Forget mind. it! Forget it! <laughs> Mad World on XFM. We just had a <laughs> we just had a text, Rick, from Andrew Barnes. He says he did he watched the same documentary. It would appear yeah. as Carl did in the week. And he says here, just to clarify, the leech nose man got it up there when drinking from a muddy stream. Uh, and he goes on. One can only imagine the frightened and the sick. <laughs> oh, oh, Carl! <laughs> Ex explain to him once more to what, what what happened with Peter the Great. All right. So we've got Peter the Great. Yeah. Okay. And his wife. Had a lover. That's another side. man. Another man. Not uh, Peter the Great. She, she was having an affair with someone else. Right. And Peter the Great, he found out about that. Okay. Yeah. So he sliced off this bloke's head. He killed him. He executed him. Right. You, 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 you with me so far? But the fella who, who oh, she was, Jesus. She was seen for a bit. Yeah, there's only two fellas involved. There's two there, people yeah, involved. Yeah. One's Peter the Great. The other one's right, not. Right. The guy that's not Peter the Great. Derek. Derek the the <laughs> Derek the terrible. Derek the rubbish. Yeah. Right. He's having an affair with Peter the Great's missus. So Peter the Great slices off his head, puts it inside a jar of alcohol to preserve it, and puts it in his wife's bedroom. So every morning she wakes up, she sees her dead lover's head. You, you'd have thought he wouldn't have wanted her to remember, wouldn't you? Oh. Best put, bury the head so she can't, don't remember. Well, it was a reminder so as not to put it about. <laughs> and did it work? <laughs> oh, I don't know! I love that. Again, <laughs> that to me is an amazing thing to do. And you go, did it work? <laughs> I mean, you've got quite an interesting mind, actually. I mean, you are, in some ways, really, really bright and intelligent. I, I love the way you think. Uh, you're one of the cleverest blokes, in some ways, that I know. Yeah, says I've got common sense. Well, yeah. And that's, that's more important than knowing about, you know, God But it's, it's what, it, it, you really, you <laughs> It's like you follow the subplot, which is quite an interesting thing, do you know what I mean? It's like, it, it, you tell you a story, you'll always pick up on something that I didn't even think was an important bit. It's like you're always, you're, you're looking out of the window all the time. So what's important about that Ed thing? The, 
What do you mean? The head in a jar. What, so it's, what a grote- I be? it's a grotesque thing to do. It's, it's, it, it shows yeah, um, ego, power, cruelty, and revenge. Although I think it probably did work because he is called Peter the Great. Yeah. So you'd assume he got, he got it right. Yeah. I don't see how you can query that. That's the sort of facts you give us. You see now, yeah. you're on the other side of the fence. And you've got questions, just like we've always got questions. No, but in Carl's thing, it would have been, turns out, some weird happened, right? And he was still alive. <laughs> yeah. And so she was still having sex with body. And yeah. his head was watching. <laughs> yeah. And Peter the Great didn't even know. Oh, See how he's perked I, I understand, up? I understand what, what you're saying. Now, I've learned some other stuff, so we'll, I'll, I'll see if I can, you know, educate you a bit before three. But I want to know, to see what, I'll tell you what education I want. I want to know what sort of things I can buy this weekend. Foot plugs. No. Have you got any adverts? Oh, yeah. Excellent. Right, I don't know the sort of full ins and outs of it. Go on, you surprised me. But <laughs> what he asked for, um, something happened to his, his, his tackle, right? Mm-hmm. His penis. Uh, yeah, right. Um, so he was at the doctor's and they were like... Oh, what can you do for me? It's a bit embarrassing. I've got nothing down there, right? <laughs> so they were like looking at it, going, "Yeah, um, doctor." I don't know if he started like rubbing his chin with his finger or something. Looked down. He's thinking, <laughs> got an idea. Um, you know, you've got a lot of fingers. How many of them do you use? The patient's like, "Yeah, I see what you're thinking." <laughs> they cut off one of his fingers, sewn that on to where his his tackle is. He's happy. Well, that's different, though, isn't it? Well, that's where they've really taken different. tissue. <laughs> no, but they've—I assume they—they they fashioned it into more of a knob than a finger. No, I still think it's there with like a little knuckle and a and you know fingernail, fingernail and that. On well, it. I'm, I assure you, it isn't. They've probably used the finger as a basis to then build up some sort of uh, uh, knob-based no, it, organ. If, if you were doing that, use a sausage. I mean, why lose a finger? For well, I'll tell you why. Because your finger has your your tissue, your blood type, and therefore would graft uh, t- t- near your testicles. A sausage is a thing <laughs> that's made by a butcher out of offal, okay, that really can't be grafted onto any part of the human yeah, body. But, that's why they um, very rarely use any meat products yeah, in, uh, in surgery. In surgery. <laughs> I know, yeah. Use, well, I mean, why not use a sausage? You're a mental case. Um, Carl, what? any, uh, New York related pun song titles? Um, New York. Not New York, New York, or anything with New York, that's too it. It's just uh, something a little bit more lateral. Uh, do you know anyone who lives over there who's a, who's a native New Yorker? Good one. Nice. Well, I said no New York, though, so do one without New York in the title. Uh, do you know anyone who's been born in the USA? Well, it's not specifically New York, is it? It's a big place, USA, so it's got to be to do with New York, but not mention New York. Uh Well, see, it's, it's a... They're, uh They're living in the city. Well, well there's any city. That's, That's any what city. You said. Yeah, but it's any city. But, uh, it's got to be. Um, this is exhausting. Well, think. Uh, Positively, Fourth Street. We just said loads there. Yeah, yeah. Well, you've had first dibs. Hang on a minute. Uh, the world. Uh, <laughs> that what, noise is actually on? Carl's brain just turning over. Go on. What's the one about a big one big apple? That's what it's one. Uh, that the world is. Yeah. Well, I know what he's thinking of. Well, it's just a great big onion. Joe the taxi. Well, that could be anywhere. But New York taxi. But no, but that's not the title of the song. If it was New York taxi, it would be banned anyway, because it's got New York in the title. We had Big Yellow Taxi. That is New York. It doesn't mention New York. It's a Joni Mitchell song. It works. It's like picture now on a freeze print. <laughs> What are the other streets? <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, God! Carl! Carl, okay, right. Say something to do, right. Think of something to do with New York, then see if that is a title of a song, and then say it out loud with your mouth. So, something to do with New York, is that a title of a song? 
Does it have New York in the title? If it doesn't, but it is about New York, then say the title of the song. So far, you've come up with titles with New York in the title. Can we you think of any others? Well, yeah, we well, will in a minute. Got one on your own. Well, no, I don't, I don't, yeah, because you said that we had first dibs. You just saw how quick we just came up with them then. So come up with one. What's the name of the, uh, the statue? Statue of Liberty. Statue of Liberty. Is there any songs with Liberty in? Well, there's that, that's, f well, yeah, if they're only they're about the Statue of Liberty. I'd, 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 I'd let you have that. Crosstown Traffic. That could be any city. No, but it was about New York. It was about Crosstown Traffic. It was about Crosstown Traffic. What's the one about, Jesus. Um, <laughs> Where the streets have no name, just numbers. Who sings it? Isn't that you too? You too, yeah. There you go. You could have had Angel of Harlem. That would have been easier. That would have been easier. Yeah. And the streets do have names down. down I'm not sure about that tone, is he? Well, we haven't got names. Where the streets have no name. Where's that? New York. Is it? Are you sure? Well, where else would they be? Well, there are some streets with names. There aren't there. Yeah, there the are. Street. Yeah, down, down, down south on Soho, they've all got names. Yeah, but it's where the streets have no name. The streets in New York have no name, the numbers. And some of them have names. Where? In well, New we York? just named some, Bleecker Street. Yeah, I'm talking about New York. That's in New York! It's what Simon and Garfunkel wrote about it. It's down in Soho, Bleecker Street. Oh, I don't want to play. <laughs> <laughs> I went to what's her name, mm. Harley Street. I went for a, a check up, mm. and uh, like a medical, mm. posh. You know Harley Street. It's like yeah. it's the top doctors, isn't it? I've never yeah. been before. Yeah. All posh buildings and that. I uh, went up to the counter. I said, uh, "I see the doctor." They said, "Name yet?" Yeah. Uh, give us ten minutes. Go and wait in the waiting room. Dead posh waiting room. Dead fancy. Big leather furniture and that. Yep. Loads of magazines. I mean. Like a, like a news agent yep. in the middle of the room on a table, loads of them. So I'm looking through, and there's the you know there's the top quality ones. Your Esquire, you know GQ, Classy, Yacht Weekly, uh, all that. Country Life, uh, Boys, Boys. It's one there, yeah. Boys. What's that? Right, lifted up like the one on top of it, and it's like Boys with a Z. Two fellas stood there. Looking, uh, sort of Italian looking. Ah, uh -huh, yeah. Right. Dungarees on. Uh, no shirt, though. No shirt, just dungarees sort of unbuttoned, hanging down a little bit. Sure. So no one else is about. I'm never going to buy a magazine like that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, you're going to tell us you look through you a kind of magazine? Look. I, had, I had a little little look, just because I thought, you know, like I say, you, it's one chance. You're always chance. looking to learn, aren't you? You're always looking to learn. <laughs> yeah. Always open, you know, there might have been something in there that I go, right, I get it now, I understand why, why they like doing that or whatever. Yeah. All right. So uh, she said I was going to, you know, ten minute wait, I can, I can have a quick flick through. Picked it up, had a look. Um, still none the wiser. Why? Well, what did you see when you opened it up? Um, just loads of, uh, I mean, like I've said to you before about, I don't know why you like looking at knobs when they've got one of their own. <laughs> right. There's no right. surprises there, you're not going to go, oh, oh, sorry. Sure, yeah. Nice. yeah. Some had, like, car oil on the face. <laughs> uh, not about. Yeah. There was someone sat on a, um, like a, a one of them square things of hay. Oh yeah, sat there, like sort of sat on it, straddling it. Yeah, uh, that must have been uncomfortable. Again, not about. Yeah, yeah, just looking, just looking like it's normal. <laughs> That's great. Like no that. farmer walks around like that. What was the other one? There was a uh, you know motorbike. They always like them. Yeah. No, I'm going through and and then like the content is all puns. Right. It it, it all everything was to do with knob. Right. That's the only bit they're interested in, look in the his, male body. Look at, look at this bloke it's straddling not, this huge, throbbing thing. The bike's not bad either. Yeah, yeah all that. Yeah. Loads of them. Uh, it was just... Uh, uh, just all... Just just cock. Just 100%. Like, let's, let's just talk about the knob. That's yeah. a good name for a, a, a gay magazine. 100% cock. 100% cock. Did it not at any moment sort of maybe slightly unnerve you that you might... the doctor might come in and see you reading... 
boys? No, because I or wasn't. What about if I walked through? Because I remember once when you were in hospital about to have um, a tube going down your knob and you were sitting in your pants with stockings on and I walked through and you were horrified. So what if I'd have walked in then and went, yeah, God, what are you doing? I would have just said, look at this. Look at this, it's free. And I, and you, and I said, why did you bring that with you? No, I would have just said, look, does it look like a bright with me? Look yeah, this. yes, it does, because well, I've never... Because well, so I would at... never see... You would never see a gay magazine in a doctor's waiting room. So I think you bought that and then and pretended that it was that's, there. That's or... the thing. That's I was amazed by that. Because there was no, like, you know, there was no Mayfair or anything. They just catered for, like, if you wanted a bit of knob action. <laughs> <laughs> it was really... I mean, really, I could have complained. Sure. So if you're going to have this, where's a bit of the other? Yeah. But, uh... <laughs> yeah! You had a bit of this, where's a bit of the other? I know one of the things that, that they had, and I thought... They're really struggling with like ideas. They had a Sococo. <laughs> As in Sudoku? Yeah. Sococo. Su- surely, Sococo. surely Sudico is better. No, because it was like Sococo. Yeah, but it's Dick as well. Subdico. Yeah. What, and it's it was still a Sudoku style puzzle, but yeah, it just had that name. Yeah, yeah. It's just so everything. That it is was all just of... Sudoku, but called Sococo. <laughs> <laughs> That's amazing. That is amazing. Now, if I, if I was gay, do you know, like, Let's have say, a game of Lubo. <laughs> Let's have a game of Knobopoly. Knoberation. Knoberation! <laughs> Let's have a game of chess. Cock. <laughs> <laughs> Let's have a game of fuckaroo. <laughs> Well, that works for either sex. <laughs> yeah, that's true. That's how we spend our okay, Christmas. Then. Fuck a poo. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> Good. Carl, let me ask you now. Um, Carl, you will be a little bit unnerved about this. Have you seen the film Jurassic Park? Yeah. You know what happened there. Well, according to yeah. the sun here, it says scientists are planning to clone mammoths for a theme park. Look at his face. Look at that. He looks like a dog caught in the, the headlights of a car. He's terrified. I love Carl. He's sprung to attention Carl. there. I lo- that's, is that is that the best news you can have? Man moths. <laughs> <laughs> right. Yeah. Man Carl, moths. I man love moths. the fact that that's why he was so excited that they bred a man moth. What is what is this? Yeah. It's it's a human being that that hides in your wardrobe and eats an entire jacket in a day. Yeah. Yeah. What do you mean, man moths? Mammoths! Mammoth! The big hairy cow the from the Ice Age. I mean, oh, yeah. elephant. You're not so excited yeah. about that, then? <laughs> you can take or leave bringing back mammoths to life, but a man moth... A man moth is a different matter. <laughs> oh. <laughs> if we'd if we'd have never brought that up, he'd have gone and told someone now, yeah. you know, they've bred an half man, half moth. This and is that's what how, we that's mean. how things start. This you is d- what we mean when you, you hear these ghost stories. Are you slightly deaf? Is that it? When you hear these stories, is it? I, is Carl, uh, Carl, is English your first language? <laughs> <laughs> are you actually foreign? Is that yeah? The thing? Yeah. Do, should well, we speak slower? When we slower? say foreign, we, we mean not of this planet. Yeah. Should we speak slower? Would that be a help to you? No. Go, go on. Next what do you one. make of that? Do you think that's good? Do you think that's good to bring, bring back, back to mammoths? <laughs> these giant elephants. They're, they're slow, aren't they? It's not as if they're going to like get out and run fast and they can't capture them. They'd probably be a fence, to be honest, Carl. They'd probably be a fence. No, but, I'm sa- but, they're d- but you're asking it as if like, oh, it could all go wrong, but it couldn't, yeah. could it? Well, really? but, but but the point was about uh, Jurassic Park is they thought it wouldn't go wrong. They thought they had it all under yeah, control. Have you learned nothing from uh, Jurassic Park, Carl? Dinosaurs would say, "Oh, f- think about it before you do it." But <laughs> with a with a airy elephant, it's it's not going to. Not a concern for you. Would I'll you go along to see him? Would you be interested in that? If it was in the area. <laughs> <laughs> He's the best. He's great, isn't he? I'd love, I'd love a cue. Nothing right? impresses No, him. but what I'd like to do is Carl sit in like Yoda in a little cave, and I'd just like to see people like Tony Blair and you know Stephen Hawking in a queue, and they go and say, Carl, got a bit of a problem. Um, yeah, and thinking it, of cloning a man and a moth. Yeah. Problem? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, not an issue. No, if I'm in the area, I want close friends to have a look at it. Otherwise, just don't send it near my uh, my friends. Um, oh, that's fantastic. So, so it's just for a second. What, what, what's as, the, as the words man moth came into your head. How excited were you? I mean, were you both terrified and excited? For- just for the moment when you thought that they have cloned a man and a moth? I pictured, um... What kind of face I'll, did he have? Was, did he have the moth's head or was it a man's head? Just a little head. Little man head. Right, what- what was his face? <laughs> what did it look like? Just- he just was like a bit like- a bit, bit shocked. perplexed, yeah. <laughs> 
Um, yeah, it, like so, it was like he'd been he'd been he'd been grafted onto the body of a moth yeah. without his, his consent. And when he was asleep, <laughs> yeah, he'd woken up. He just he just went in for a rather goiter removed, yeah. and they said we've he replaced your goiter with, with the body of a giant moth. Yeah, just is that all right, Mr. Jenkins? Mm, so sorry. he had the head of a, a little was it a little boy or a man? Little man, right? Okay, and he's just bumping into a lamp. <laughs> <laughs> just bumping into a lamp. And it's all right for you to go into women's toilets when you're a kid. It's like, oh, it's a bit cute, yeah. right? As long as you're not like over fifteen or something, right? Right. But when I was a kid, I went into a toilet, and women, when they use their little cubicles, they don't shut the door. Some of them just sit down on the on the toilet, yeah. right? And you see everything. And, uh, <laughs> no, seriously, that's probably one of the <laughs> first times I saw like a woman. Yeah. That, right? And my auntie Nora when she was staying over. <laughs> what happened with your auntie Nora? She was, um, she's into wearing caftans. Into wearing what? You know, caftans. Oh, what, yeah. What caftans? Big, bellowy sort of dresses. Right, right. And, uh, yeah. I, I, I used to sit on the floor at home in front of the telly. Sure. She was on the chair behind. Yeah. She did a bit of a sort of a Sharon Stone scene. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah. Did you see it? There was no underwear. No. <laughs> what what was, age were you? What was it like? What age were you? It was like a ripped tennis ball. So. <laughs> um, I'm sort of on a bit of a mission to find out, you know, we've got a lot of animals and insects in the world and stuff. Yeah. Um, do we need them all? <laughs> it still amuses me. <laughs> so we've found out we've got to keep jellyfish. We've done octopus, just yeah. said we've got to keep them. This week, snails. Do we need them? Just doing some research, uh -huh. right? Um, I'm sort of working my way through different creatures and insects and stuff that's right. on the planet. Yeah. Right? Um, and finding out if we need them or not, right? Yeah. Do you know much about snails? Well, um, sea snails? Well, yeah. Snails in general. Um, I don't know a bit much about snails, land snails, I know a bit about sea snails, like whelks, top shells, that sort of thing. Would you say they're important? Um, what sort of sense do you mean by important? Say if we had to sort of get rid of some animals and insects and that, because we're running out of room. Right. Do you know what I mean? Because cause I'll tell you what I know about some snails. I don't know if this applies to sea snails as well. I mean, I called you today because a, a lot of other places are, are shut. Yeah. Right? So, um, I know um, they like to eat stamps, apparently. The glue on stamps. They right. love it. Right? Right. Um, apparently a lot of um, letters and stuff aren't getting to where they're meant to be getting, because snails are crawling into... Letter boxes and right. eating the stamps. That obviously doesn't apply to the sea ones, mm. but that that's a problem they're causing. All oh, right. Uh, are you, were you aware of that? No. I no. Bet you're glad you answered the phone today. Right. They love beer. Beer. Yeah. Who doesn't? And also, I don't know if this is right, but I heard that they sleep for 13 years or can do. Right. I've, I wouldn't know if they can sleep for 13 years or not. But I mean, sea snails are pretty important. Yeah. They're, they're, they do quite a good job in the sea. They uh, um, graze on algae in there. But they but provide food for other other animals. I mean, you can say about any fish, you know, oh, any animal. Why do they? Why do they exist? Would Would you I be know. upset if you know someone said we're getting rid of them? Oh yeah, yeah. You would they're, be. They're an animal. You know, I wouldn't. Forget being like favouritism and all that I get for them, right? There'll yeah. be other things knocking around you can sort of spend your time looking after. You'll still have a job, don't be worrying about that. Because I'm not going to get rid of all the fish. Jellyfish need looking after, so you're safe. Yeah. But do we need them? Come on, there's loads of people saying, come on, we've got to move on through the animals, and you're holding them up saying, well, I, I want to keep them. Well, who's, who's saying we need to... That just sounds a bit, just sounds a bit crazy to me. Just, just imagine... Do you know what I mean? And, and they would come to you because you're working in an aquarium, so they'd, they'd be asking for your advice. Right. And you're slowing it down. Well, they asked for my advice and I'm giving it to them, so, you know, that's what I think, anyway. Yeah, but snails, you know, I mean, like I say, they, they drink beer and that, you know. What do, what do they do apart from uh, some food for a, for a whelk? They were, they were around, their descendants were around a lot longer, uh, longer than we have been. Yeah, they've been around a long time, but what have they done? Well, they survived that long, so they must be doing something pretty good. Well, apparently they sleep for 13 years, so really, even though they've been around for ages... I, 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 I think that sounds a bit... 
They don't need to sleep for 13 years. Not all, I mean, not all of them, just, just the, just the tired ones. So, snails, do we need them? Well, yeah, I just think they've got a, just as, you know, it's not for us to say, do we need them or not, we can't just... So, so you think we should keep them? Yeah, definitely. <laughs> Oh, I'm proud of you. That was getting really quite annoying. I know. Why did he, what did he think he was doing? What? <laughs> I don't know what you tell these people. I mean, you don't get their permission to play this out, do you? You well, just don't tell the them. the thing is, right, <laughs> I, yeah, I sort of told him what it was about, but we won't say who he is or where he works, because it doesn't matter. I just needed to speak so, to someone who knows. <laughs> I know the fact that you were trying to get an answer out of him by suggesting that he would be <laughs> safe because he could look after Jamie Fish if he gave the okay to destroy snails. <laughs> he was I getting livid, you could oh, tell. Oh, God. Brilliant. So they've uh, been around a long time, but what have they done? You know what <laughs> but that isn't what I'm saying. What I'm saying is, have you seen them weird things that just look like. They, they, they sort of look like a leaf? Yeah, there are insects that, that 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 have evolved to look like a leaf. So a bird thinks, oh, there's no there's no tea there. No, that's not I, a juicy I, insect. It says leaf. I don't eat leaves. Yeah, but Forget at some it. point, something has had it away with a leaf. No, what? at to... no point has something had it away with a leaf. No, to make it look that much like no. a leaf. <laughs> no, <laughs> at no point did a beetle shag a leaf. There's nothing on a genetic level or molecular level, uh, any, anything to do with it having anything to do with a stick or a leaf. It's superficial. It's the way it looks. Now, what it is, is this monkey, right? Yeah. Don't know where it was. Mm -hmm. Uh, but there's a bit before the monkey anyway, right? Jeez. It, is this, no, listen. Shoot me. Right? It's a bank. There's this bank, right? Busy bank. Normal yeah. day, everything's going normal, yeah. right? Busy bank, people going in, doing what they do, seeing about mortgages and stuff. Yeah. yeah. Everything's normal, everyone's yeah. happy, right? Yeah. So anyway, it's quite busy one day. Fella comes in with a gun and a balaclava on. Oof, that's no good. Right, I'll tell you now, Carl. If this fella turns out to be any ape or monkey-related species, you're never doing this again. <laughs> you, you are never. Uh, so, so just if you want to finish it, it's at your own risk. But if this fella who robbed the bank turns out to be a chimpanzee, <laughs> that's the end of monkey news. All right. Okay. Let's right. hear the end. It's a, it's a lovely day in a lovely bank. Everyone's happy. Everything's normal. A um, man comes in in the balaclava. Man comes in. Starts, is it a man? Starts waving a gun around. Is Shut it? up, Rick. Let, me, let him finish the story. Starts waving a gun around. Yeah. Right? Up to no good. So everyone's thinking, oh, God, you know, what you didn't come in here. It's not going to be a good day. How tall is it. the man? Shut up. Let's hear it. Uh, everything, you know, oh, God. And he's telling everyone to get down on the floor. Yep. Everyone's hey, what? Thinking, in English? In English? Yeah. Think in so. Yeah. So everyone's panicking, everyone's getting on the floor thinking this is it, this is, you know, it's all over. Yeah. Just when you think, you know, it could it's all bad news, yeah. it's all bad news, doors swing open, little monkey wanders oh in. Oh God, it's worse. Shut up, Rick. Little monkey wanders in, <laughs> right? The robber's like, what's going on here? He's yeah. telling it to get down on the floor, I don't think it was taking any notice. No, right? it was just busy asking for coffee. It runs in, I don't know if it was kind of withdrawal or, or deposit or whatever, <laughs> it yeah. wanders in, right? Uh, go, goes up to the robber. Where did it, where did it come from? Shut up! Will you let him finish the story and then ask questions? That's okay. only fair. Okay. Wanders in, uh, runs up to the fellow with the gun, takes the gun and the bag of money off him. Everyone's like, yay, you know, we've been saved. Then the monkey starts backing out with the gun and the money. <laughs> Shut up! Don't sit down, sit down no, and finish. It does a runner with the with the money and the gun. No one's seen it since. You are an idiot. I mean, you are you have said some stupid things in your time. What are you talking about? It's a story that happened. No! What are you talking about? What do you mean it backed out? It came in whether was it as an accomplice? Was it an opportunist monkey <laughs> robbery? What are you talking? Think, Carl. Think. I know it's mad. That's that's the idea of monkey news. We're telling people how how like how monkeys are, are pretty. You know, they're mental. We got to look into this. If anyone knows why Dumpty was an egg, if if Hubbard <laughs> fa eventually found a dog a bone and. What was the little one doing? What was the little? <laughs> what did the little one think he was doing? For God's sake! When yeah. I saw my dad last year, uh, he was telling me about one 
about a fella who's got some clothes you can see through. What's that one? You don't the, mean the Emperor's New clothes. clothes? Yeah, what's what's that one about? Well, that's a genuinely good little parable, though. Yeah, because it's 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 now used for um, people who are scared to sort of slag something off because it's it's sort of like really cool and and they don't want to be the one that. That shouts it, and then one person goes, "Hold on!" Very, I've very seen briefly, this. Carl. Very, very briefly. Right. Uh, the king wants some new clothes, right? He's the king. He goes, "Who's going to make me some new clothes?" Various people come to me. He says, "I don't like that. I don't like that. It's not interesting enough." One guy who's just a bit of a con artist. He comes mm. along. He goes, "I've made you this magic suit. Look, and it's nothing." He it's goes, "Put it on." The king puts on nothing because there is nothing, but thinks there's something because you know he wants to buy into it and everything. And he goes, "It's the finest stitching." He goes, "Look at it. Can you see it?" Uh, 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 no, uh, they ask that only a genius can see how good this suit is, and the king goes, "Yeah, yeah, it's brilliant. It's brilliant. Yeah." It's great. And he goes out and just, is it a woman or a little kid? Well, everyone's goes, applauding. They're going, you look great. Even though his tackle's hanging out, he's, you know, he's nothing. Even though he's got a king size sort of like bit of meat and two veg yeah. wobbling, dragging down the street. <laughs> exactly. So and then one little boy goes, he's not wearing anything. The king is in the all together, the all together. Know that one? So, well, did anyone else buy one? Or was. Oh. Okay, play record. Play record, Carl. Play record. Carl. Just play a song. Jesus. If, well, what, what, what's, what's, to, what's your pet type? Just when they shit somewhere. What? Oh, they, when they shit somewhere and you can't find it and it stinks. What the? <laughs> I hate that. Isn't that funny? I didn't get that. What do you mean? Just, I, <laughs> just, what have you thought? Faffing. Too much faffing. Like, is people always, like, you can't do that, you have to phone five times, you have to put you on hold. Oh, you exchange. just mean an annoyance. What did you think he meant? He said a pet hate. I thought you'd, I thought, right, okay, yeah, what if it's a Sorry, tough what, thing. What do you mean? What do you hate about having a pet? <laughs> when they shit behind Okay, good night, everyone. <laughs> okay. Because that, that, I, 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 I mean, it like that. I, I've known him for ten years and that surprised me. <laughs> Hang on, fuck That fucking surprised me. <laughs> I've never, i never, I'm really sorry about that. Right, faffing, faffing, <laughs> yeah, faffing. I bet, hey, when it, when, when, when it, when it, when you're asleep and it licks your bollocks. What? <laughs> no, all right, I got the wrong end. <laughs> yeah, faffing. Faffing, all right. Yeah? Yeah. Right. Fuck me. That's, that's great. That's great. Cheers. <laughs> it's either a, a chimpanzee with a typewriter with an infinite amount of time, he would eventually, by definition, mathematically, type everything ever possible, okay? Or it's an infinite amount of um, uh, chimps with typewriters, and one of them will type it first time. But already that's, that's sort of, that's not right. You either need to have what one What do you mean, what, monkey. what, you mean, Let, uh, employment laws, point. what you do you mean it's not right? Let's hear him out, please. Okay. If it's one monkey, yeah, with a typewriter that's got loads of ink in it and that, right? At least it knows what it's done in the past. Don't, it's not- Keep going! Cry. If you've got a load of monkeys, it's like, it's like if you have too many, what's that saying about too many chefs Too many chimps for the soup. Right, well it's the same thing, it's like, well I, I didn't tell you to put salt in it, I was gonna put salt in it, and it messes it up. Whereas if it's just one, they know what's gone on. So what I'm saying uh, is- I, I, I'm just leaving, I can't I, be bothered I want to hear, I want uh, to hear it, the th rest. This blows my mind, he doesn't know what this does to me. It's a mathematical problem. I want to hear the rest. Well, it's just, I just don't think it will happen. What I mean, do you mean you don't think it'll happen? Infinity works it out for you, by definition. But not, not Shakespeare. Oh! Shut up, you, you know, idiot! Rick, do you know what he said to me? I said to him, uh, I just explained it to him, I said, God. you've got an infinite number of monkeys, infinite number of typewriters, they will type the complete works of Shakespeare. He yeah. said, have they read Shakespeare? <laughs> <laughs> You're an idiot! Play I record, said, no, I, I'm not having this conversation. This is a bit of a bigger issue. We're always making more and more stuff, right, um, in the world. You know, big buildings, big planes, mm -hmm. big boats and that. Will we ever get to a point where all this is too heavy for the world to handle? Right, what errors he made there, Steve? <laughs> what physical, scientific error has he made there with that question? I can't, I can't begin to explain it. Carl, we're not getting the rocks from other planets. It's already here. It's like having a, a, it's like having, um, a big pile of books in a room, and then moving them over to the other side of the room and build a thing going, oh, can the room take it? I'm building a lot of things out of these books. What about, what about plastic? Where's that come from? Are the chemicals that existed on the planet. Yeah. Do you see, do, do you see the point? Hang on a minute, though. 
What about a little tree? You plant that as an acorn, it grows, Rick. That's bigger, that's more stuff. Yeah. Don't listen to him, Carl. He's patronising you. What about you. acorns and that, though? Right. They, they take, they grow from minerals and proteins already in our atmosphere or in our, um, the mass of Earth. What about a cat, Carl? Right, you get it, it's a very tiny kitten, but it grows up and it's bigger. Carl, he's, he's doing it on purpose. Elephants. Elephants, elephants. They, they're very small to begin with, but they get bigger and bigger and bigger, and so they get heavier and heavier. Mind you, dinosaurs have gone. You know, but you- <laughs> And then we went, went and had a look at the volcanoes and that. They've got 36 of them to look at. <laughs> How many did you look at before you realised that you, you know, pretty much, you've seen one volcano, you've seen them all? Probably about six or seven. Really? Yeah. And then when you go to the eight, you thought, no, I know what this is going to be, Suzanne. This is going to be like a mountain with a hole in the top. Yeah. Really? But it happened years ago as well. It's like, just keep a couple, fill the rest in, tidy it up. <laughs> Yeah, no, well, yeah. getting some builders. No, seriously though. Okay, four million trap. tons of concrete, please. They're an absolute death trap. <laughs> yeah. What? Well, yeah. What do you mean, fill them in? Do you know what a volcano is? It's just a hole, isn't it? That's happened. Well, it's it more than the hole. It's more a portal to the magma in the centre of the earth. Back in 1730, it happened, and they still haven't sorted it out. Well, when you say it happened, volcanoes were made a lot longer ago no, no, no. than 1730. No, but, but the one that did Lanzarote in. Right. Sort it out. What would you suggest? Well, How can they fill it in? It's joined. It's all joined. No, but what I'm uh, saying the, is, uh, it was the a, big it was, plates of the earth are all joined. It was all a the disaster, joined. It? With the with the trade center thing that happened, they cleaned it up, sorted it out, they've moved on. That's what I'm saying. Whereas Lanzarote have just gone, leave it. It happened back in no, 1730. You misunderstand me. How in the name of God can you fill in a volcano? You ignorant. Twit. No, but it's not just the the holes. They've actually left the lava everywhere. That's what I mean. It's not just the big holes. There's lava everywhere. But it's m molten rock. They can't just p pick it up like they're like a carpet. Put it in the holes. The holes are there ready. Just push it all in. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Have so we got a cheeky yes. freak of the week? Do you want one? Yeah. yeah. Let's, let, I think we should have a jingle for this. Okay, I've got, I've, uh, yeah, I've got a jingle. It's very similar to Chimpanzee. Chimpanzee that. Yeah. Well, let's hear it, let's hear it. Okay. Oh, cheeky freak of the week. <laughs> brilliant. <laughs> brilliant. Yeah, no, I think that's excellent. So, cheeky okay. freak of the week. You've spotted a this freak of the week. This is where, this is where somewhat, I think, offensively, you pick on someone who's, who's not like other people and say it's your favourite freak of that week. Yeah, I remember well, we had the woman whose, uh, legs look like the hind legs of a dog. Um, we've had the little fella with the ageing disease with the little head playing the piano. That's, that was your favourite. I think that's your probably freak of the year, isn't it? It's a pretty so, good one. So, wh what, 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 what's this? Is it a man um, with a, a horrendous injury or is it a congenital, um, birth defect or what? Yeah, but you put it like that and now it sounds like I'm being tight. Sounds like I'm being out of order. But I'm just giving him a mention. <laughs> Just giving him a big shout out. Right. Yeah. Uh, there's uh. quite a lot going on in the freak world. <laughs> um, <laughs> always is. You've, what, you've been visiting hospitals the last week, have you, when we were away? No, there was, uh, there was a thing on, the, on a website. This isn't even the one that I've picked, so. So this is just a bonus. This is a bonus freak. Jeez, yeah. Yeah, go on then. Yeah. Uh, this is a free freak. Right? <laughs> yeah. um, it's, a, it's, a uh. it's a fella called a lobster man. The Lobster Man, of course. <laughs> Again, good name, you know what you're gonna get. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what are you gonna get? He's some, got... some succulent <laughs> meat. I like the idea with... that... I like the idea that the vicar on the christening suggested <laughs> that. <laughs> I know you want to call him Mark. Can I make a suggestion? <laughs> yeah. Look at his hands. What's his name? Uh, Mark Michael uh, Webster. Right, um, right. Uh, yeah, have, have you thought about a nickname? Not really, no. Have you looked no, at his hands? Yeah, it, we, we don't want to talk about that because Do it's, you know, it's, a little it's bit quite- like lobsters? Well, yeah, but it's quite deformed. It's a, like you know we can't suggest lobster man. <laughs> <laughs> That's terrible, vicar. <laughs> that is terrible, vicar. We're pitchy. <laughs> Go on then. Huh? We're gonna, gonna see. This is what the sort of feature you come up with, Carl. So lobster man. There's probably people listening now with you know lobster feet, right. lobster hands. So um, squid boy. <laughs> so lobster man. What does uh, what does lobster man do? Does he uh, fight crime? Not that much. 
Okay. Apparently he got into a bit of trouble. He was in a restaurant and, uh, this was years ago, by the way. And someone picked him to eat him? No, so <laughs> the, apparently the waiter, uh, said, oh, you shouldn't be sat here, you should be in me up my pan or something. Oh dear. And it, uh, they had a fight, got out of hand. Yeah. Oh, got out of claw. And, uh, yeah, yeah, so that, that was- What do you mean they had a fight? What did, what, what, I mean, what did a, he do? A waiter took the mickey out of someone yeah. with- No. No, oh, can I just make clear? I'm assuming it's his hands look a bit like those of a lobster. Yeah. Yeah, well, they're, they're fused, so it's just like two big fingers. They're right. fused, I assume, probably in the womb, and they're just like, instead of like having yeah, five yeah, digits, yeah. they're fused and it. But it, I mean, he can pick stuff up, can't he? Yeah. What does he pick up? He mainly eats crabs and jellyfish, doesn't he? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So he was having a fight with the waiter, he, he snipped off his nose. <laughs> Right, so anyway, he just he just held on to the waiter's bib, yeah, and the exactly, waiter was yeah. screaming, "Go and get him off me!" Yeah. So yeah. anyway, does he eat other lobsters? Does he <laughs> does he think he would eat lobster, <laughs> or is it kind of? <laughs> uh, would he feel bad about eating lobster? Right. The, the little cheek of the freak that we've gone for, anyway. <laughs> the what? The little uh, freak of the week, yeah. cheeky freak of the week. Yeah. We've gone for um, this Siamese lad. Okay. Right. Happened back in. Uh, you can't have a Siamese lad, can you? All right. Yeah. This Siamese twins, uh, happened back in 1693. Oh, he's got a date, blindness, first time ever. Yeah. Um, and all it was, he was, he was doing all right for himself, he, he used to go on the, like, those circus things he used to do. They're two people you're talking about, Carl. So we're going to him. All right then. All right. They. They, they did this circus show, right? Yeah. And, uh, everything's going well. They, they, you know, they're, they're selling out the tents and stuff, people coming to see them. Yeah. Um, he was doing alright for himself. Yeah. Right? Did, um, sorry, before I said that, did you think a Siamese twin was a man with two heads? Well, it can be, can't it? It depends. Um, there is, there's, there there's is two people, they're conjoined. No, 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 but it depends, doesn't it? The one that I shown you in that book that time was a fellow with two heads. No, it wasn't. That was, that was a, a, a was a, f uh, a stupid picture in one of your stupid books that he had a growth that looked a little bit like it had a face on it. It wasn't a man with two heads. You're the same sort of people who send g potato chips to Esther Ranson and say, doesn't it look like Norman Cook? Yeah. It's not two heads. <sighs> we'll bend this feature. No! <laughs> No, it's, it's just, they're uh, two people. They're two people, conjoined twins. Yeah. Right. So these it's just a, they just happen to have a similar taste in clothes. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> anyway, so they, yeah, they were doing all right, and it all went wrong when he crossed the road, got run over. The lad with two heads got run over. That's it. <laughs> what? How is that? How is that cheeky freak of the week? Just, beca just because just because he got my interest, and I kind of thought, why didn't he just look both ways? <laughs> <laughs> I'm intrigued to know. Why how you... wasn't he looking both ways? I'm oh. intrigued to know how you uh, how you get run over. What was it, 1629? Yeah. Well, it's horses awesome, and that, aren't it? Yeah. Oh, why wasn't he looking both ways, <laughs> Carl? Carl Pilkington, you are a genius. Do you know what he said to me the other day? Uh, this is unbelievable. This is one of the most stupid, incredible things I've ever heard. He was talking, and he suddenly stopped, and he was thinking about it, and he went, oh, I don't know what, he went, you'd never see a black ghost. Extraordinary. True, though, isn't it? I've never seen any ghosts, full stop. There are no ghosts. There aren't ghosts. No, I mean when you just see them in, like, magazines and that. <laughs> <laughs> So, right. we'll move on to this next one, right, which is brilliant. Great. Dead short story, so, right, uh, old woman, about 70 years old, yeah. uh, she's normally fit and healthy and stuff, nothing wrong with her, she's having a good life, and, uh, one day, she goes for a check to the doctors, yeah. just to check herself out, cause she's yeah. getting on a bit, yeah. uh, says, take your clothes off and that, so she does, and, uh, checks her out, says, yeah, you're looking good, you're looking good, uh, turn round, uh, he said, oh god, so you got a, a tumour on your buttock, right? So she goes, oh, what, can you do anything to sort it out? So they go, yeah, 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 we could book you in for an operation, it's best if we remove this. Books are in for an operation, operation day comes, strip her down and that, they're all stood round, the doctors, start to operate, it only turns out it's a pork chop that she sat on five years earlier and it had stuck to her buttock. Right, Carl. <laughs> 
I right, can fold I'm, you. I'm, I'm, I'm honest. I'm, right, I'm, no, I'm, listen. I'm, 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 serious. <laughs> okay, Carl, I'm telling you now, I'm leaving. I'm no. never, I'm never doing this show again. No, I'm serious. Honestly. You're talking, I, I, I've never had any such but you are, play a record, play a record. <laughs> I can believe it. it. What do you mean you can't believe it? Stop, stop the record, stop the record, stop the record. Right, okay, right, what do you mean you couldn't believe it? No, when I read it, I said I've got to tell this This woman I... had a pork chop stuck to her ass for five years, you mental case. <laughs> of course she didn't. Oh, chimpanzee that, monkey news. Uh, right, is this monkey, right? Oh, yeah. yeah. I think his name was number six or number seven or something, right? In this in this lab, right? Yeah. And uh, anyway, it's in there <laughs> uh, with like you know the rabbits and little mice and stuff like that. And uh, the, the rabbit smoking. The nurse, right? The nurse, not well, not the nurse. The the, the woman who works in the lab. What would you call her? The nurse. Depends what what turns out her job was. She was a lab assistant. You call her a lab assistant. All right. I mean, they probably call her by her name. All right, lab assistant, right? Kirsty. So, uh, so she's I think it's Ker probably Kirsty. Right, Kirsty Morris. Well, she's in there, right? Yeah. And she don't work with many people, and that she's mainly on her own with you know just putting lipstick on rabbits and stuff like that, right? Chimp fancies it. So uh, <laughs> <coughs> chimp fancy. He's putting on lipstick. Chimp fancy. So she's got hairy legs. He gets he gets pally, right? <laughs> with with this woman yeah. because. You know, it, 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 it gets to a point when she sees him every day. <laughs> she let, let, <laughs> the way he tries to string out like it's a narrative love story. Let, let Did the, chi the chimp put its hand out and grabbed her, and then you thinking that he made a move on her? So, right, come on, he's, he's allowed out. Oh, it's not a story, is it? He's allowed it's out the cage and what have you. Yeah. Every day, so, um, he's wandering about, and as time goes on, he's watching what she's doing more and more. Yeah. Right? So, he, he notices, like, the code on the door, right? <laughs> right. She, whatever, two four seven or whatever. Yeah. He goes right. I've clocked that. I've got yeah. that. I'll remember that, right? Mm. And then he goes right. There's a Definitely lot of lipstick not. and that knocking about. A lot of makeup. Right. Okay. Let no, no. There's Let no him way. Finish. No. Because so, Steve, you know what's gonna happen. I know what's gonna happen. So he's there. It's I ridiculous. And he's going well. If it's there, you know what I mean. So, so while she's messing about with the rabbit, he gets there. He's in front of the mirror, putting a little bit of lippy on. <laughs> right? You I know. Yeah, it's gone too far. Turn, little little of, no, it's gone too far, Steve. Right, no. Your mic's off, Rick. He's finishing right, the story. So Turn mine off as well. It's gone too far. Turn him off. Just let him finish. Right, so the thing is, right, it's this monkey wandering about. It's got lipstick, it's got mascara on, it's looking pretty good. I didn't mention the mascara! It's looking alright, right? So it knows the code on the door, 247, right? So when she's sort of messing about with the rabbit, right, he goes, right, here's my chance. It's looking good. Two four seven out the door through the reception. The reception man's there. He's like, "All right, Kirsty, right?" Don't <laughs> talk shit. Right. And, um, I'm assuming there's some questions there, can't I? Yeah. yeah. Right. Here we uh, go. If you're a new listener, the way it works, I give you a cryptic clue, and some initials, wow. and it sort of makes up a band. Yeah. Um, makes more sense when you hear it, I reckon. Not particularly. Well, not really. Although so, people do get it, I yeah. just worry about the. The state of our listeners. <laughs> Go on. Right, so there's three of them. You email in ricky.gervais at xfm.co.uk. It's email one. only. Email I repeat, only. it is email only. We, we have too lazy to <laughs> answer the phone. <laughs> yeah. Okay, right. here we go then. Number one. Um, there's, there's normally two easy ones and a difficult one. Sure. So here we go. Uh, number one. Don't argue with him. He ain't gonna change his mind. Don't argue with him. He ain't gonna change his mind. Yeah, that's AA. AA. That's, yeah. So that's the first one. He's not going to change his mind. Um. What do you mean, um? You just, just, just got them written out, haven't yeah, you? Yeah, I'm just thinking about what the answer is, so they don't write the answer down to Oh, this for God. Don't <laughs> worry, they get it. <laughs> yeah, don't well, worry. Um. What do you, yeah. Well, you can't remember it. You came up with it. There's only three. I know, I know. It's weird, isn't it? <laughs> no, it's not weird. It's incompetent. <laughs> right, the second one, anyway. <laughs> I, I hope you get this. Um. <laughs> I hope you get <laughs> this. Come <laughs> <You laughs> right in and tell us the answer. This is a shambles, isn't it? Hang on a minute. Keep going. Go on. He always gets what he wants and doesn't worry about anyone else. P. <laughs> and you don't know. You don't know that is. It'll, I'm sure it'll come to me once I see it on email. If I'll what know do you it. mean? Once they get it, you'll agree with them. I'll know if it's the one I had down as the answer. This is brilliant. Come Imagine on, Jeremy Paxman doing that. Going, yeah, university what, time. Is that right? <laughs> Go on. Right. So uh, that's give that us, one. Give us that one again. Um, he always gets what he wants and doesn't worry about anyone else. P. But you're confused. I don't understand how you can be confused. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Alright, what's the final one? The third one, uh, 
I'll have to put that woman in the oven. And that's A B. All right, quickly give us them again. Right, so the first one, don't argue with him. He ain't he ain't going to change his mind. That's A A. Um, he always gets what he wants and doesn't worry about anyone else. That's P. And um, I'll have to put that woman in the oven. A B. All right. Okay. Ricky Doc Gervais at xfm.co.uk. I'm going to play a classic track now by uh, Neil Young, Alabama. It's oh, beautiful. Beautiful. Neil Young, Alabama. Uh, Carl is still confused. He's waiting. He's biting his fingers, waiting for an email to tell him the answer to the clue he made up but can't get. <laughs> I love that as an experiment. As a psych- I mean, that would confuse psychologists that you come up with something that you can't get. It's brilliant. Yeah, you came up with the question. You don't know the answer. And you expect them to, but you can't, and you made it up. Look at your face, like I'm Play some adverts. But XFM are bringing new listeners all the time. I've heard four or five a week. Really? Yeah. New wow, listeners tune in to XFM. One Radio 4. 1, 9. beware. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And, uh, yeah, we might take it for granted the people that know who we are, know who you are, know who Carl is. Sure. Um, Oh, now, if, if, if you, you know, if you're a regular, then you know exactly who we are. But, um, for those of you who don't, uh, I say, I'm, I'm Ricky Gervais. Ricky Gervais, a BAFTA award-winning actor and, yeah, uh, yeah. and writer. Steve Merchant, um, all, all those. A friend of yours. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And this is the important thing, Carl Pilkington. Absolutely. Our, um, produ I say producer, he was the bloke who was lumbered with a job. When I said, listen, I see I used to run the desk in the old days, I, was like, I used to press the buttons and run the desk and everything, and now I said, listen, I've been on the telly. I do not press my own buttons. And Carl said, well, I don't really work weekends. And they went, well, you do if you want to keep your job. Absolutely. And we were lumbered with him. And then we discovered that he's not just a, a little, like a little dock, a little manky sort of idiot. Sure, he's sure. got, he's got nice shirt. He's got, you know what I mean? He's got something else. Absolutely. He's got a certain, another dimension, yeah. Yeah. And, uh, he, he started having a little chat and we discovered that he had, Quite a lot to say. Mm. Well, I, I think you're right, and I think um, I was wondering maybe we, we should maybe play another tune. But after that, I just think we should re-familiarise our radio audience with yeah. Carl and any new listeners. Just get let, you know somehow going to let them get to know the real Carl again. Well, if you are new, you'll, you'll find that we like some uh, old songs, some new songs, some okay. chit chat. Uh, we get serious sometimes. There's oh, some yeah. tears and some laughter. Yeah. We kicked off with Oasis' new one, little by little. We're going to go <laughs> back in time now to Iggy Pop and his Stooges <laughs> with "I'm Bored." Iggy Pop on board on XFM 104.9. I'm Ricky Gervais. Steve Merchant here, isn't Yeah, it? little Carl Pilkington. Mm -hmm. Well, to reintroduce or introduce people for the first time to Carl, um, I think we should have a... Yeah, a, maybe sort of a kind of a quick Q&A, Carl, and we don't need sort of lengthy answers from you. We don't need lots of detail. Um, right. you know, can we, uh, just a couple of sentences? Just to get to a flavour of who you are. Yeah, so right. firstly, uh, name obviously Carl Pilkington. Age, Carl? Uh, I'll be, uh, I'll be 30 next month. Really? This month. No, next. What, where are we? <laughs> <laughs> I don't think we need to ask I any more questions. Think we've done it. That's I it. I think we've Welcome done it. Welcome to the world of Carl Pilkington. <laughs> I think that. Oh, I thought it would take three or four I questions it was be at least, to really yeah. explain that was, that what was the Carl first was question. about. <laughs> 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 oh, oh, Absolutely God. Incredible. But well, some. You know, like the monkeys uh, peeling potatoes. Right. <laughs> That's never happened. They go and put nuts in the salt water to, to salt the nut. Whatever. How does that, how does that get to peeling potatoes? But, uh, because in your head, they were working in a canteen. Making chips. Yeah, <laughs> definitely, yeah! It yeah. doesn't matter what the food is, I'm just saying how they know how to sort of prepare I love food. the fact that you don't care what the fact is. When you're discussing facts, that's all that matters. Otherwise, on Mastermind, they just go, um, uh, who wrote Much Ado About Nothing? Dickens? Yeah, close enough, whatever, someone did. It, the fact is the what matters. Yeah, but with that question, that's got a straightforward answer. What I'm telling you is the way that animals work. If it's a potato or a nut, it's a foodage. <laughs> and once again, I return you to my question as before. What's your point? What were you- what point were you making? Go on. A homeless person called me a dickhead. <laughs> How did he know? <laughs> Do you know him? Is right. that why? He's a local, he's like the local big, no big issue fella. Oh yeah. yeah. And he know, he knows me, he sees me walking up and down the oh, street. Oh, that's how he knew you. Right. So, um, so I normally have a, have a bit of a chat with him in that. 
and I walk past him and, um, <laughs> we're, we're, you know, I can, I can be a little bit cheeky with him because I've been cheeky with him in the past with stuff. Um, you pinched his eyes. No, no, no <laughs> just, you know, saying stuff like, God, you're always there, I mean, you got home to go to and <laughs> stuff like that. Yeah, no, just he, breaking the ice, just breaking the ice, go no, on. He yeah. knows, and he laughed at that, right, yeah, last time, yeah, so I thought yeah. I can be a bit cheeky, right? So he goes, uh, he goes, do you want a, do you want a big issue? I said, nah. He said, come on, I've got loads of them, right? So I, I sort of said, oh, w when I was a kid, and I used to do a free paper round, the free papers one, I said, just put them in the bin and go home. <laughs> right? And he went, yeah, but how am I gonna get any money doing that, you dickhead? <laughs> oh, Jim Barty, that is only gone and written it down, the little- That's the jingle for Carl's Diary, uh, excerpts of which we read each week. Get straight into it. A band from the Conga have won the best newcomers in a Radio 3 competition. They use pots and pans for instruments. It says that the Conga is a poor, sad place, so why do people do that happy dance at the end of parties called the Conga? Right, one <laughs> is the Congo. <laughs> There's no place called the Conga. <laughs> <laughs> they come from a place called the Congo. <laughs> where, where, where do you come from? Uh, Okie Koki. <laughs> <laughs> it's a terrible place. That we don't know whether we put our left leg in or our right leg in. Uh, sometimes we shake it all about. No, we're but, not sure if we should. But um, <laughs> Congo. Right. So I did some research. Right. Let, let's just recap again. The guy, there was a guy you read about who had his head chopped off, he was guillotined. Yeah. He had said to the people around him, Count I am blinks. going to blink once I've had my head cut off to so show the brain that life, can still, or the brain yeah. can continue to work after, yeah. after yeah. death. Okay, so yeah, we queried that. So you, you weren't having any of it? Well no, possibly for a few seconds till the, the oxygen stops being fed to the cells because the blood has drained away. But you know, no, nothing spectacular. So right, go on. Well, along the similar sort of lines, right? This is quite a few years ago. Um, this fella sort of upset the royal family doing something, right? Uh -huh. So they said that this isn't good. It wasn't Ben Outen at that jubilee thing, was I it? Can't, was I can't remember what it was. And they said, right, <laughs> that we're, was terrible. we're yeah. gonna, uh, we're gonna cut your head off. Um, you know, oh. you gotta, you gotta show people that you can't be doing what you've been doing. What was this, the 1970s? <laughs> when you say a couple of years ago, you mean maybe sort of- Was it the olden days when the phones weren't very good? Ages ago. Yeah. Ages ago, sure. So, um, so, so yeah, fair yeah. enough. Yeah. So- <laughs> Very philosophical. <laughs> yeah, imagine that, yeah. when you watch Nears Could go through. Yeah, this was literally enough. ages ago. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, go Simon on. Sharma's History of Britain. Yeah, yeah. Oh, so. and even before that, which is yonks, <laughs> yeah. before, when it was all mental and different. <laughs> so, Sorry, Carl, go on. So he's having his head cough, and he's, but no, he's resigned to it. It's, it's the day before, he's kind of got it into his head now that I'm not gonna have my head, uh, much longer. Sure. So he said, let's, let's make use of this. Yeah. <laughs> He said, uh, <laughs> I wonder how long, like, the body can stay alive yeah. without me head on it, <laughs> right? So they were like, oh, I don't know. <laughs> so, uh. Hoover. So. The jailers? Whoever he was the These jailers with one eye. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Get that pack. So, so he said, no, look, wait a minute, I've got an interesting scientific experiment, jailer. Well, yeah. fair enough. What is it? <laughs> so, uh, he said, what I want to do, right? He said, um, you know, surely it's, it's my last right. You know, I'm gonna mm. be, I'm gonna be dead tomorrow. Sure. So, um, let's he do a test. He didn't draw it out this long, did he? Yeah, he said, let, let's, let's, let's test this out. You know, okay. he said, do yeah. us a favour. He said, you know, it's my last day. Um, what I want you to do is, you're gonna cut me head off. Let's put a white line on the floor. Right. And see if, you know, cause there's no point asking how far he can sort of walk without an head if there isn't a line because you, you don't know what to count, do you know what I mean? If it's just, if he loses his head and he's running around all over the place, you can't yeah, really count that's that. That's not impressive enough, yeah. So, so they said, let's make a white line. Sure. Yeah. Who said this? He did or they did? I think they started to join in with him and say, well, let's make yeah. this a, you Sure. Know. You're guessing, <laughs> go on. So, uh, <laughs> They got Norris McWhirter down. <laughs> <laughs> the Guinness people. Oh. Yeah. yeah. So they said, Let's get this white line. <laughs> yeah. And, uh, Dedication's all he needs. We'll, we'll do this, we'll do this tomorrow. And he said, all right, then, I'll yeah. see you in the morning. Yeah. See you in the morning! I'll see you in the morning! <laughs> night, night, sleep tight. <laughs> bye bye. Uh, I love the fact that Carl knows exactly what was said. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, that's beautiful. Yeah. He doesn't know the story yeah. or what order it's in yeah. or when but it he was. He knows exactly what was said. Or what, but he knows the intricacies <laughs> of, all right, then, see you in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> bye, little kissy, kissy, kissy. <laughs> oh, I'm not, I'm not like that. Oh, you joker. Oh, don't let the bed bugs. Yeah. Anyway. So uh, he gets up. Do you want a paper yeah. tomorrow? No, I'm alright. Go on. He gets up mm. and they say, right, you know, today's the day and that. And he said, well, you know, I've got, <laughs> got used to the idea. So yeah. here's, here's a white line for you. <laughs> got used to the idea. <laughs> go on. So, uh, so they go, right, are you ready then? And he said, I right, go on. And they cut his head off and 
the body walked 32 steps without a head. <laughs> wow. 32 steps. Incredible. And that's, that's, that's the lesson, really. Did it get as far as the white- it walked along the white line, did it? Yeah, it stayed along the white line, did 32 steps and then started to stumble a bit and it just fell over. Yeah, yeah. But, it you know, it was a test that your body can still keep alive for a little bit. Yeah. When- when you've lost your head. Absolute twaddle. <laughs> Absolute twaddle. <laughs> what- what do you reckon you can do then without an head? Uh, how, how many steps? Nothing. There'd be muscular spasm, right? Yeah. It, it would twitch uh, a bit. It would- yeah. You could not- Distinctly take thirty-two steps. Mm -hmm. The body. G well, don't. Yeah. yeah. Ah, yeah. Is the doctor still on the line? Yeah. The fellow that bought six parrots. Yeah. And uh, you no, know, you could have got thirty-two steps. Right. So you don't believe that. Doing a bit of line dancing. Right. You don't believe that. But <laughs> something that you do believe is that a cockroach can live a week without an head. It can. Hmm. Slightly different. Slightly different kettle of fish there. Why? Wow. Well, mm, insect <laughs> to. Uh, human <laughs> is is the, is what I'm thinking. Yeah, that well, difference. There's not that much difference in well, of some insects. Do you know that a snake has a heart and lungs and kidneys and stuff? Go on. No, well I'm just saying. So you're making out as if like they're a totally different like species. Being. <laughs> I am. I am making that. I mean, call Rick, me old-fashioned. Do you know what you're talking about? Though? I don't want you embarrassing yourself, Rick. <laughs> yeah, I am suggesting they're totally different beings. Yeah, that is. Yeah. I don't know if you saw uh, the thing the other week about the fella who's on that quiz show. Who? Oh. Sort of. Uh, oh right. Okay. Gay Who? fella, straight sort of man, man, woman. Thing. What are you talking about? What? Well, tell me the. What, what? What? What did you see? Tell me what you saw. It's a, this is like a kid come running in and he's seeing something sort of frightening. It might, yeah. could be an alien, could be a ghost, could be a paedophile, <laughs> and you've got to get exactly what actually saw out of him. <laughs> right, what did you actually see? It's just this, this fella who's a, who's a woman. Right. Um, <laughs> right, okay, right, try and talk like a human being. Right. It's, it's a quiz show that's coming on the telly, and, um, it's this, this woman. Uh, right, is it a fella who's a woman, or is it a woman? A bit of both, that's why I'm talking about it. But what do you mean? Is it a pre-op, is it a transsexual, a transvestite, is, is, is it a lady boy, it. is it an hermaphrodite, it. what it. is it? I'll tell you about it. Well, tell, tell me. You. I'm telling you. It's, it's, it's a woman, N well, it's a man. <laughs> oh, for f- oh, no, listen, forget it. Listen. Play record. No, listen. No, come on. What? It's, 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 it, it is a man. He is a man. Well. <laughs> It's a TV programme where they've got this- Transvestite or a, television? It is a transvestite, yeah. So- but, but the problem is, uh, I'll tell you, just because you don't know about it, the programme is- I don't know, I still don't know about <laughs> it. I don't know anything about it, still. I don't know, it's a woman, man, man, woman, man, man, woman, TV, TV programme, look, TV. No, it's a, it's a man who is now sort of half a woman. <laughs> and- <laughs> A man who is now half a woman! No, well, this is what's weird about it. He's, <laughs> he's got the top half. <laughs> but not the bottom half. What do you mean? Out. He's got breasts and a wig, but he's still got his uh, his boys downstairs. He's Why got do you do that? His, his caps and the boys Why are still there in his wife fronts. Why but upstairs, that? he's got a lovely pair of dumplings. Why do that? Well, he's halfway through. But why not get it all done in one one go? Maybe he couldn't afford it. Well, wait until you've got all the money. That just looks a mess. <laughs> And who's he pleasing there? Uh, <laughs> when he wakes well, up in the morning and pleases himself, he can't believe his luck, he doesn't yeah. know where to start. <laughs> no, but what I don't understand, I mean, do, you know, I don't want to see him- Well, can I just finish that sentence? What you don't understand is just about everything. <laughs> yeah. Right, what- uh, what? I find it weird, right, I sort of get- I, I understand the, the gay thing, right? <laughs> but- Do you? What do you mean? Well, you know, I, I know- Well, I tell know, me the gay thing, explain well, the gay thing. I just thing. know, if you, you're a fella, you like, you like men, I don't know much more than that. What do you mean you don't know? But what I mean is- <laughs> With a transvestite, what's going on there? What what do they want? A transvestite is is, is a a, a cross-dresser. See, I don't I don't get that either. Because you mean a transsexual? That's, somebody, that's a man who likes to dress in women's clothing. It's not necessarily they're not necessarily gay. They're not gay. They're, they're often anything. not gay. They just happen to like wearing women's Those clothes. Those clothes, aren't yeah. But, but then why not wear women's clothes that could be seen as a bloke, like Suzanne wears jeans? No, but they yeah, just but that's buy the thing. Jeans. But that's 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 their problem, is it? They 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 like being seen as a as a as a as a woman. They like being seen as a woman. It's not just that it's more comfortable. They wear a kilt. They like being seen as a woman. They feel more comfortable. 
All right. And what's the deal with this fella who's got? We don't both... know who this fella is. No, we don't know this man who's half a woman. He's called Miriam. Oh, that's hot. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Brilliant. I love this scientific basis. No, I'm so saying... all he's done is he's, he's had the tits done. He's probably had the hormones. Probably lived as a woman for a while. The last step. Because you can probably reverse the breasts anyway, because they're they're probably implants and hormonal things. And whereas you you chop your knob and um, boys off, that's you, know, you come back the next day and go, sorry, I didn't mean that. I, I want my ears pierced. It's a bit more of a bigger operation to put them back. So doctors are probably making sure that he's just I'm up sure to. If you've had the top half done, you're not going to go back on what you've said. But no, what's the top half being done? You, 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 I could have, I could get you breast implants, give you a bit of hormonal treatment. No, that and you would could be a great idea for next week. <laughs> and, and you could reverse it. What you can't do is grow a knob back. Well, you can. Last week we were talking about growing one on your arm. Mm, yeah. We've done that. We've done that. <laughs> so that is possible. <laughs> but the thing is, I, the truth of it is, I think I do know about this story. I think it was a television programme called There's Something About Miriam. The oh. conceit of which was that this pre-op transsexual. So I guess that right, yeah. Um, was masquerading as a woman. Right. And various blokes, un who didn't realise that this was a man, had to uh, oh, try and seduce this. him, her. And when they found out that it was actually a bloke, and a lot of them had kissed uh, him, agree. her, they uh, they refused to let it be shown. I, I, agree, no, I agree, though. I, 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 that's just terrible. Yeah. That's oh, deceit. But, I mean, you know, that's awful. I, 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 yeah, I, I hated that. Yeah. But I... Do, you know, do you know Anne Frank? That's all, all I know about Anne. Is, there's no point pretending it. Anne! That I know Quite, stuff. Yeah. Right, um... Well, just, tell us everything you know about Anne Frank. Uh, she was in a cupboard. <laughs> yeah, what else? If she didn't do that, I wouldn't know about her, seriously. <laughs> That's all I know about her. Yeah. So what did she do? But what well, do you, how do you think we know, we, kn we know about... We know about her cupboard because of her book, don't we? But hang on, what, what, in the bigger scheme of things, why was she in a cupboard? I, I, I don't know. Right. I honestly don't know. You don't know anything else about Anne Frank beyond the fact that, to <laughs> quote you, she was in a cupboard. Well, what's she done then? You tell me. Why should I know more about Firstly, her? Firstly, I don't think she was in a cupboard. <laughs> she wasn't in a cupboard. She was in an attic. All right. Yeah. So yeah. what was she doing? She was hiding from the Tidy Nazis. <laughs> she was hiding from the Nazis. But isn't that the first place they'd look? Sort of <laughs> work, work from the top down. <laughs> Oh, they weren't specifically looking for Anne Frank. <laughs> they weren't going, where is she? Where's Frank? If she gets that book out, we are <laughs> in the deep <laughs> shit. We've got to stop the book. Is that, is that the answer? Yeah, just cavemen in front of dinosaurs and that. They sort of went, oh. <laughs> and then... Well, it wasn't cavemen in front of dinosaurs, was it? Because cavemen weren't alive when dinosaurs were alive. There was a couple knocking about. Right, okay, fair enough. There was, there was a crossover point, surely. Uh... No. Not for just like your 15 million. Um, was the, uh, yeah, probably the, uh, yeah, the Ice Age, they were still, they were no, still big reptiles. I think it's fairly common knowledge that the dinosaurs did not exist Well, who when... gave the dinosaurs a name? Well, no, 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 no. <laughs> well, no, no. <laughs> who gave the dinosaurs no, no. the name? He's... It's weird, though. The other week, I just sat in the garden, slavering, <laughs> just to see if it would ever run out. And it's amazing. I don't know where it all comes from. What is the that's strangest? Extraordinary. That's That's amazing. Just so to that, see if it would run so out. So now he's got to the point in his life where, a, as a hobby or a pastime or just to count down the minutes before he dies, yeah. he sat in the garden creating sputum, slavering to see if he'd ever run out. I mean, that's amazing. Where, where's Carl. it all come from? Well, you create what? it, don't you? But from what? I'm always getting done for not drinking enough water. Salivary glands. But it's amazing. Honestly, I just sat like that with my head forward and just let it drip. Fuck oh, wow. me! So Dude, Suzanne comes into the garden like and all she sees is her patient. boyfriend sat like something from one foot of the cuckoo's nest, yeah, like dribbling. Yeah, like battered around the head with a cricket bat. No, she was, she was did reading she, something. Did you answer back to a dictator? Yeah. What did he do? Battered me. But You've I'd... got a trench up your ass as well. Yeah, that makes me slather. No, just sat there. What a fucking That's mom. extraordinary. What, what a div you are. And I just had my head there and it continuously... I think I got bored of it before it stopped. <laughs> oh, God! I have never heard anything like this! Oh, God, I need a second opinion! Wanker. 
It's unbelievable. He just sat there with his head down, slavering, letting it just... That's extraordinary. You weren't even sort of like gobbing. You were just, no, just letting... letting it, letting it sort of drop. So you, you got you've got up. nothing else going on in your life, but you've got time to do this. So your brain wasn't even engaged. How long it were you there for? I tell you what, no joking, probably a good fifteen minutes. <laughs> fifteen wow. minutes of sitting with his head forward, Amazing. letting him salivate onto the grass. But do you reckon you could do that amount? I would well, never, we'd do never, it. Try. never do it. Never do try. I'd never, never, never try. have that amount of time. I've never. I've. Ne I, I tell you now, you will never see either of us sat there for no reason in the garden with our head forward and our mouth open seeing how long we can create saliva. Unless I've just come out of a coma. <laughs> yeah! Yeah, or a gas attack. Yeah. Right, I was on a... I don't know if this is alright to talk about. I mean, it may happen, so, you know, not worry about it. alright to talk about. Everything's alright to talk was, about. But I was on the train, right, uh, coming from Manchester back to London, right? Yeah. And, uh, got on it. It was like a Friday night. And it was heaving, you know, like the, the the last train is and all that, and um, absolutely chocker. Right? Yeah. So I'm walking through the carriages, <laughs> thinking, oh, is he in his seats anyway? Is he, is he? Anyway, everyone's like, it's it's heaving, right? It's people stood up in the doorways. You can't get in the toilet and all that. There's not going to be any chair knocking about. You know, so walking through, and anyway, I see this one empty chair sort of in front of me, right? I think, oh, why aren't anyone sat there? Right? I'll just rush to that, get to that, I'll get myself a seat, plonk myself down. Right? And, uh, sort of turn round, you know, s see who I'm facing, you know, see who you're sort of having a chat with. Little fella there, right? Little, uh, well, Down syndrome kid. Right. right. Sat there. And, uh, he goes, alright? And I thought, oh, right. Not, not bad, but do, do you know what I mean? They're always talking, aren't they? They ask a lot of questions. <laughs> right? So I was like, oh, here we go, two and a half hours. And I couldn't get up because the thing is, that's obvious. Sure. Right? <laughs> So that's, that's like mean. I don't, I, I never want to be mean, do you know what I mean? No. At the end of the day. So, um, so anyway, so I think I know, I'll go to sleep. <laughs> Clever. Right, so I shut my eyes and he leaves me alone and that. So, uh, so then, my phone goes and I think, right, what do I do? Do I ignore <laughs> it? Or do I open my eyes and see what it is? Anyway, I open my eyes, it's Ricky calling about something. About nothing, probably, actually, thinking about it. It wasn't even worth answering, right? <laughs> So anyway, but I'm awake now, aren't I? So he's like, hello. And I'm like, alright mate. And he says, uh, he said, you're muscly. <laughs> oh God! And uh, I said, yeah, yeah, yeah. And he goes, uh, you know, why? So I said, no, just, just stand. It was, again, stressing me out, because we're thinking, why am I? Why am I muscly? I don't go to the gym. And, you know, I mean, I'm not muscly, I'm in good shape and that. Well. So, uh, so then, uh, he wants an arm wrestle. <laughs> on a cram train from Manchester, so I've got another hour and a half of this. <laughs> <laughs> well, so, if you talk back, he'd soon have got up and left. If you'd have started asking him questions, he'd have got up and left with a drivel you come out with. So anyway, uh, do you know when you're under pressure, you're thinking, well, he's said that I'm muscly, right? Right, so... Do I do it or not? What, and there's people watching, you know, not joining in, not sort of having a laugh and that with me, just, just like, watching but pretending they're not. Oh, God. And I'm God. at one of those table seats, so, it, and he kept saying, come on, I want to arm wrestle. So, and he was getting loud and I thought, oh, I best just have an arm wrestle. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? What do you mean? I best just have an arm wrestle? Well, what do you mean? And, get it over and done with. I had to, uh, if he's gonna keep asking, I had uh, another hour and a half on the train. Oh, God. So anyway, oh uh, my God, I'm, I'm thinking who won. Well, I'm, yeah. Well, I don't know. Were people putting bets on? It How was working. <laughs> it was stopped and just as well, really. Was it really stopped? No, he, he, was it no, 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 no. He, he sort of, he was, he was winning. I was struggling a bit, right? Yeah. And he was really like, you know, taking my arm down. And then he sort of let go and started laughing. And I thought, thank God he let go because I would have made. You know what I mean? If I lost that, <laughs> everyone's in the train looking. And all the rest of it. Look at the fact it's suddenly serious yeah. to him that he's got to win this. Pilkington, <gasps> Pilkington. But then he just, uh, then we were chatting about favourite food and that, he likes sausages. <laughs> and I said, you know, he said, do you like sausages? I said, yeah, they're alright, I like a bit of Chinese and that as well. And he was saying, oh, I can't have Chinese, not allowed Chinese. Why? Uh, don't know, he just said, uh, it's not allowed to have it. Right. But, uh, but yeah, I had a good long chat about, about stuff and that, but. So you enjoyed it in the end? 
In the end, it was it was all right. Yeah, it's uh, just. What is it? What's, mm, okay. No, but it's that thing, and it? it's. Uh, it's always when it, whenever you're faced with something different, yeah. it's always awkward, isn't it? And that's the thing. You're talking about him now, are you? And I, and I, I think I, I did all right because everyone else was ignoring him, but yeah. I probably made his day pretty good. Yeah. Came up with a good idea. We'll um, be the judge of that. Mm. Uh, well, I, I do it now. <laughs> it's not a good idea. Okay. Okay. What? I, I'm, I'm, gonna, I, I, I'm sticking my neck out here. Um, but, yeah. uh, oh, I right. think this isn't gonna be a good idea. Okay. Thoughts? Well, I'm, I'm gonna agree with you, I'm gonna second that motion. Okay, let's see, let's see if we're, let's see if we're both right. See through skin. <laughs> <laughs> High five, Rick! <laughs> but, it doesn't sound like the great place to live, right? Could they not move? Could one of them go, <laughs> do you know what, I'm sick of this. I, I'm, I'm moving or whatever and go to a proper city. How far away is this, um, these Papa people, um, <laughs> to, to, Papa people. To, to the next, to the next, They're like, like the Smurfs. They're very like the Smurfs. But how, how many miles away from a, like, a place with a normal life but, going on? But think about this, Carl. Firstly, oh. they don't speak the language, so they don't have any practical skills. They've got no experience of civilization. So even if they chose to go and live in one of these cities, what can they do? How can they function? They spend you know, 15 years just trying to figure out what, you know, how, how everything works. Mind you, I have had the same thought about, um, Inuits, right? If if you if you live in a house made of ice, and eat fish all day, and then just stay in for six months, move. I really do. I, I mean, I don't understand why they're living there. I think there's some bacteria that has better lives than that. <laughs> <laughs> That's got to be offensive. Why? <laughs> okay, how about this? Is the one of the weirdest things. <laughs> <laughs> this is one of the weirdest things, right? <laughs> I'm sorry! <laughs> an entire people! An yeah. entire race just of people! Dismiss. No, just no, no, dismiss. I'm, I'm, said, I'm, not, I'm not having a go, but I'm just saying, I, I wouldn't fancy it, is what I mean. Um, yeah. Monkey news. Right. There's this monkey, right? Yeah. And it had been, uh, do you know you hear about monkeys being badly treated and stuff like yeah. that? Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, anyway, it goes into this, this home. It's 14, this monkey. It's called, uh, Matty, right? Goes into this home where it's looked after. What um, do you mean home? Just like a uh, just little monkey home, right? Okay, so, so zoo. Yeah, kind of. Yeah, but they haven't mm. got any other monkeys there, right? What have they so got there? They've got just other animals and that, but but not that many monkeys. But anyway, because mm. because he's there on his own, again, you know. It when you say monkey, do you mean a chimpanzee? By the way, because you usually do. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I so, can't believe that um, journalist thought this was scripted. Amazing. So, uh, so anyway, yeah. So it gets it gets sort of pally with the people working there and that, and uh, <laughs> it's smoking fags. It's having a drink at night and all this. Right. What do you mean it's having a drink at night? How? <laughs> it's all here. It's all here, Steve. I mean, we haven't really got time. But well, you no, don't say it. it's all here like it's proof. You've got another stupid story that well, someone has put onto the internet. Someone sitting at home in their bedroom mm. has put onto the internet. So he's having a fag. Yeah. It's drinking a lovely glass of Bang Rock Station. <laughs> yeah, Haven't the wine that's perfect for a barbecue. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, it's loving life. It's forgetting about its past and everything, right? When this this other monkey comes along, oh, oh no, Trouble's brewing. Go on, right? That comes in. Something said. <laughs> <laughs> right, forget it. Then. Forget, forget, it no, no. forget it. Forget it. Carl, the human body is one of the things that you're actually genuinely fascinated in. This is one of the things that you admit is is quite amazing. And, um, I think we all agree with that. Here's some, uh, quite incredible, um, stats and facts about the human body. What do you think of this? 50,000 of the cells in your body will die and be replaced with new cells all while you're listening to this sentence. Go on. Well, that's it. What's the sentence? That was the sentence. Uh, what was the sentence again? <laughs> well, it doesn't matter. The sentence doesn't matter. 50,000 just dying and being replaced in that time. But what are they doing? Different cells do different things. Some are taste buds. Some carry haemoglobin and oxygen to other cells. Yeah. Some are skin. Some are liver. I've heard about skin. I've heard a lot of skin, sort of. What? Know. What you heard? Um, a rumour about skin. You heard of skin? What? It's just, it, it Keeps just... all your stuff from falling on the fucking floor? Well, what? it's it's the thing that makes you what you are as well, doesn't it? More what do you than, mean? More than anything. Why? But without the skin, you're just a skeleton, you look all the same. No, you're not just a skeleton, no. 
other than your lungs and your heart and your kidneys and stuff. What well, I'm saying is, I, I know, went to I know the, the flesh yeah. on top and all I, the blood vessels. And I the... went to that bodies exhibition. Yeah, you know, this is it. He, he knows all about the human body and science because <laughs> he went to the bodies exhibition. Do you know where the German fella cuts bodies up? Yes. Now, he had a load of people on show. Could have all been the same family. <laughs> Because everyone, without the skin on their head, looks the same. Other well, than height, yeah. everybody looks exactly the same. And that's why racism is so stupid. Well, it's a good point. Good point, isn't it? Yeah. That saying that, though, I did think most of them were Chinese. <laughs> <laughs> the, 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 these are milestones in human evolution. The opposable form, the, the forward-facing eyes, the upright. The, these, are, these are massive things in, in taking us out of the animal kingdom. And one uh, day, Carl, you'll walk upright. <laughs> <laughs> but what do you mean about eyes facing forward? You mean, before we got here, there was people who, uh, whose eyes were looking in their head? <laughs> <laughs> I don't understand. That. Is that what well, you no. mean? No, no, because when we got a sort of uh, uh, binocular vision. Not no. really, Carl. Go on. Right, you get a giant ice cube, yeah. the size of the Empire State Building, yeah. stick it in the water, yeah. it's gonna make, uh, that, it's gonna stick back on again, isn't it? Well, no, uh, only on if again. it freezes up again. Yeah, well, it will freeze just... up. The water's well, gonna get but... cold again because you've just put a giant ice cube in the water. Well, so when you put <laughs> when you put an ice cube in a drink, the drink doesn't freeze, does it? No, the ice it's not. If you put one the size of an Empire State Building in your glass of Jack Daniels, it's gonna make it freezing. <laughs> <laughs> it's not going in a glass of Jack Daniels. It's going in the ocean. I know, but I'm that, you see, I'm using my fables. Imagine the <laughs> world. <laughs> He said, he said, what you've got to do when you go to sleep, focus on your toe, right? <laughs> okay. He said, and just think about no, nothing else. He, I said, he's a witch. <laughs> did he, did, did he say you didn't put a toad under the bed? No, he just said, focus on the toe and mm. uh, see how you go on and what have you. Next time you come in, let me know. Anyway, I gave this a go, focusing on the toe. Uh, so what does this mean? You mean you sat in bed staring at your toes? No, this is it. He, he said, like, lie down, shut it. your eyes and, and sort of look at it sort of thing. So I was lying there and it just wasn't working because Oh Carl, this isn't medicine. Because I was you even were, though you were thinking eyes, of a finger. Well no it, <laughs> <laughs> He found out he was thinking of someone else's toe. Yeah. Next it day someone work. called up and said, Carl, yeah. my toe's better. Yeah. No, the problem was I was still using my eyes even though I had them shut. <laughs> <laughs> When are the exams? June? Something like that, yeah. We're registered, we're trying to register next week, and I reckon you can get an A or B. In I'm history. Busy, I'm busy. In history. No, I'm don't worry about it, it's just easy. You get your Brody's notes. If Heat, Heat magazine, they, 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 they love you, Carl. They can probably sort something out. They can probably pay for a tutor. They got a lot of money, they sell a lot of magazines. I mean, it is always, almost always, and you found that out, I discovered this, it's always the Tudors and Stuarts. There's no fear for that. They're not coming up. Now, what do you know? What do you already know about them? You must know already know stuff about Henry VIII and Elizabeth. No, because it just—it's too long ago to even get interested in. Do you know what I mean? You can't. Is that why you did it? Okay. You, the Anderson thing—it was like, God, you know, I bet my mum and dad were in an Anderson shelter. You know, this is interesting. But when they? Oh, my granddad would have like had something to do with this. <laughs> but the Tudors—it's like I don't know even if they had a family back then. God. Play a record. Since, obviously, the days of Nostradamus, there's been many people who've tried to foresee the future. Uh, Carl, I'm not sure if you're familiar, but there's endless, um, you know, predictions. Apparently there are other planets that may collide with ours. You know, there's some scientific basis on this. But if you knew with certainty that today was the end of the world, how, how would you spend that final day? So, for instance, I've always wanted to smash up a bar. Do you know what I mean? It's strange, strange, but I've always wanted the exhilaration of just smashing all those bottles, like you see in a film. But would you enjoy it as much, knowing that you're going to die in eight hours? I don't know, I suppose it's the sense of abandon, you know? I mean, maybe I'd murder a person. You know, wow. just see, you know, I don't know, but I think I'd probably go mental. Because that's Because I've always been a very reserved person, you know? I've always, I've never got into a fight, I've never caused a rumpus. Yeah, but that's a worrying thought, because, um, we, we don't have to have the end of the world for it to be the end of your world, because a lot of people know that they're terminally ill, so mm. they don't go around smashing up bars and killing people. But I suppose I know there'll be no repercussions ultimately, because they're gonna the next day anyway. everyone's gone, so yeah, there's so, not going to be mourning families. But, but, then, uh, but then how dare you deprive that person of his last eight hours or ten hours of life? Um, I don't care, because it's the last day on Earth. 
What would you do? I've always wanted to kick a duck up the arse. <laughs> Last night, I'm just. I, I haven't slept well for, for since I was about twelve. <laughs> <laughs> Do you sleep well? Steve? Oh, wait, oh, wait, oh. wait, wait! You can't let that go. I haven't slept well since I was twelve. What, what do, do you know, mean? Do you know, like a proper? I used to love going to bed as as like a kid. Yeah. Whereas now it's like, oh, am I going to sleep tonight? And I'm, I sort of wake up about four times. Right. Whereas when you're a kid. I remember really loving, like, going out of bed. I'd, mm. I, what, there was one time where I actually laughed myself to sleep because I couldn't believe me luck. <laughs> Is that so wrong with him? What do you mean you laughed yourself? Know, I've never had it when, you, when you're really tired and you get in bed and the pillars feel Yeah, it's all cold, yeah. And, and it's like, I can't believe this. Yeah. And I, I, it happened twice. Once when I just went to bed and I was really looking forward to it, and also when I, I helped my dad out once, like through the night, he worked at like at this paper company, right? And uh, <laughs> I helped him out, and I got in at about four in the morning with him, got in bed, and I just was like, I had, I, I was laughing my head off. I had to put the pillow over my head because I, I couldn't believe me luck. It, like I, I was like, oh, this is great, this, and going to sleep. I, I just have to say, life up north is so extraordinary. No, but you must be the easiest kid in the world to please. No wonder she knew she could just go get a cake. It's sort of like, uh, what, what was he expecting? We were say he was expecting an extra hour in bed, <laughs> yeah. but we got him cake as well. <laughs> go I to love bed without that. any supper. Brilliant. Brilliant. Yeah. It, your own it, bed. How long was it before you got your own? What did you, just, you used to do before? Just some straw in the corner? No, it's just that, that thing of when you're really tired and... And do you ever do this with Suzanne, though? Do you ever laugh yourself to sleep with her? <sighs> no, that's what I she mean. She can't sleep because you're chuckling away. I'm just... I don't know what's up with me. I've got a lot going on. Hang on. <laughs> Here's something I've learnt, remember? Go going on. Back to, like, show four or whatever. Go on. What show is it? four? The flea can jump over the London Eye. No! No, it yeah. can jump the equivalent of if it was a six foot man. It can jump that six inches high. A flea cannot jump over the London Eye. Y yes, it can. Yeah, it can. And tell, <laughs> you, tell, tell, tell your kids that. Can't. Oh, well, remember. Oh, a flea can jump over the London Eye. And an ant can lift three Volvos. <laughs> 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 uh, well, let me just tell you the name first. Uh, Adam Clifton. Hmm. Oh. Go on, what? what are your thoughts on Clifton? Uh, he was one of them kids, he was alright, but he had that thing when, um, if he didn't have enough milk, <laughs> he had like, uh, wrinkly hands and <laughs> white, white, white bits in his nails. Oh! Because yeah. he didn't have enough milk. Yeah. yeah. So therefore, <laughs> you didn't like him because you didn't get enough milk. This is not to be confused with the two people with the big heads and the webbed feet, is it? Webbed hands. Well, this was <laughs> I don't know that they weren't related. They must have been somewhere along the evolutionary sort of trail. Do you know what I mean? They must have come from the same sort of stock. But no, you, you wouldn't have liked him. He's just, he's just one of them people. He was all right, but. He, he well, I, before well. you say any more, um, on the, on Friends United, you can leave a little message which explains what you've been doing and uh, what's what your you know your life's like now. And most people leave maybe two paragraphs. Right. Adam, I've printed it off. He seems to have printed. I think it's, uh, there's about six pages here of stuff, he keeps updating it, and he, he just basically lists his memories about everyone, okay, yeah. I, I, the school and uh, what he thinks of everyone, and uh, he says, I often see Simon, da 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 da, he's doing right for himself, self-employed illustrator, Mark Cooper, Carl Pilkington, right. and your name comes up. Now, I don't know if you've told us this story, I think you may have done, but I can't remember the facts about it, it just says, Carl Pilkington, with his pet bird, was it a magpie? I can't remember. He brought it to school to show everyone, and it flew away. <laughs> No, they do that, don't they? You them what what you was the story, give, though, You give them seeds and they just leave them. What do you mean? Well, this sounds like Kez. Well, that's it. I was a big fan of Kez. And, um, <laughs> it was the time our dog had just died. Yeah. So I didn't have any pets and the cats were always getting run over. <laughs> yeah. And, um, so we didn't want any more pets. Yeah. But there was a magpie that used to fly about on the estate and I managed to, um, to sort of tame it. <laughs> And, um, in the end... With, it, with it a chair and a whip? What do you mean you tamed it? Well, just used to sort of hang around it and talk But how did you get it. hold of it? Did you catch it? Well, eventually, yeah, it used to just come to me and I'd, The annoying thing was, it got to a point when I wish I hadn't bothered. Because it, <laughs> it used to pop me bike tyres. It used to... 
It used to sit on, on like, if I was talking to me mates and I was on my grifter. <laughs> <laughs> I love the way he just throws things in. It's like an Alan, Alan Bennett play. <laughs> It, it landed on my tyre and it used to peck at the tyre and pop it and then oh, it, used to, no. it used to then never go away so it was always like <laughs> around the house and my dad said never bring it in. So it used to sit on the porch and I used to go out and it used to fly down and land on my head oh. and it really hurt. It used to like peck and stuff. <laughs> he thought it was a tyre. <laughs> so it wasn't so much tamed <laughs> as a stalker. <laughs> oh god! Yeah. So you took it to school and it flew away? Yeah. So did you take it in proudly going, look at my magpie? Oh! Yeah. <laughs> oh but, no. But it, it, I think it got a bit confused in the area that it was in because I used to just keep it sort of around our estate but sure. the school was a bit of a distance away. How did you get it so, there? Carrying it on my finger. Did you walk? Yeah. <laughs> wow. So it was happy there and then it got to, huh? But it used to be one of those things that people would stop me in the street and sort of go, oh, what's that? And, and did, I don't suppose you called it Maggie. You didn't get uh, Charlie's Angels to go and find out what happened to it? <laughs> Investigate? Were they impressed? No, uh, not really. A few more names that you may recall from Friends Reunited. Go on. Lisa Shufflebotham? <laughs> <laughs> Do you remember her? Yeah, she, uh... Was she one of Charlie's Angels? She, no, no, she wasn't that nice, but she wanted me. <laughs> <laughs> God, right, tell the story about the man I'll cover. Right, in the same magazine as, uh, as the one with the, with the cat and the fire and that. Don't tell me that story again, it gives me the shit. Yeah, a cat that's <laughs> got a weird expression on its face yeah. is it, against God. Anyway, this isn't a scary story, this was just, uh, like physics. Explained. Physics. Yeah, yeah. Oh, it right. was going on about the, uh, nuclear bomb and uh, how powerful it is. And, uh, <laughs> they put, they put a manhole cover on top of one. Blew it up. Yeah. <laughs> Never saw the manhole cover again. <laughs> <laughs> Man alive, Carl. <laughs> I'll explain What's that. going on there? Something weird is happening there. <laughs> oh. If anyone has ever seen that manhole cover, <laughs> yeah, uh, please yeah. get in touch. We'd love to know where it is. Oh, that's fantastic. What sort of experiment is that? I imagine all these scientists on multi billion pound research projects, they're going, we test everything. What would you do to a man I'll cover? Don't know. That's like letting a couple of students. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah, exactly. Have yeah. Of a do you song? reckon it can Let's send a traffic cone, cone yeah. into orbit? Go on then, put it on there. <laughs> I love that. I imagine that. What? What, of what value is that? <laughs> and what, so what we could do, we could let the, put the manhole cover on it and aim it and then blow the bomb up and it would, it would, the manhole cover would have someone's eye out! <laughs> fire it! See if you can fire manhole covers <laughs> off the nuclear bomb. Try bangers to a bomb, see if it's louder. <laughs> oh.